Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 27 says, Also the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be an holy convoc uh, convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement, to make an atonement for, your, for, for you before the Lord your God. For whatsoever so it be, that shall be afflicted in the same day. In that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. Mm. And whatsoever so it shall it be, that doeth any work in that same day, the soul shall the, the same soul will I destroy among his people. Mm. And ye ye shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statue for ever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. It shall be unto you uh, a, Sabbath, a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even, at, from even to unto even, shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. All right, all right so Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to open up by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who do teach you well. We are the prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida, coming at you week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America. And today we opened up with a scripture going into the Day of Atonement because today is actually the Day of Atonement. Okay, right, September right. 16th, 2021, year of hastening the coming of our Lord. And baby, we are almost out of here. That's okay, right, right. and right now we're in a very serious high holy day where this day is to afflict, uh, uh, atone for your sins. Okay, the Lord gave us a whole day out of the year where uh, pretty much your, your slate is wiped clean, man. And you got to afflict your soul on this day, man. Okay, so you do a fast and you get closer to the Lord, man. All right? But go ahead and uh, read it from the top again. Let's go ahead and break it, get into it. It says, for, uh, Leviticus 23 and 27, it says, also on the 10th day of this seventh month. Now, Leviticus... When you go into Leviticus, these are our laws. Leviticus chapter 23, it tells you about our high holy days and such. Okay, now the Christian church, they don't, they don't keep these laws and, and, and such like that. The scriptures tell us how we got a faith without works is dead. And how we are rehearsing the righteous acts right now. But if you're not doing nothing, something ain't right, man. Go ahead. It says, there shall, there shall be a day of atonement. Mm -hmm. It shall be an holy convocation unto you. A holy convocation. So today is a holy convocation to us, okay? Uh, through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And this is why all these high holy days, you got to take them seriously, man. You know, in the world, people people love celebrating Christmas and Halloween, but when the high holy days come around, ain't no one to be found. Mm -hmm. People take it as a joke. Now, this is a, a high holy day, and this is this is um, mercy from the Lord to be able to uh, start clean, man, start fresh. You know, think about all the sins you brothers have done this year and the, the Lord had uh, uh, brought you to the day of atonement. I was talking to a brother today. I said, look, man, there's brothers that don't even make it to their day of atonement. Why? Because the Lord is going to hold you accountable for all your sins. There's people that have that died before they can even uh, make it to the day of atonement. And guess what? They had to answer for all the sins that they did. Uh -huh. And that's scary, man. We made it. Brothers and sisters that are watching this, you made it to the day of atonement. Now it's a new year to start fresh and do better than ever, man. And this is a beautiful time the Lord gives gives Israel to, you know, um, to seek him out, man, you know, in seriousness, you know, to uh, afflict ourselves, to show him how much we are sorry for our own sins. You see, it's also a time that you will go to brother Abraham, if I offend you anyway, I still lock you, you know, and then try to offend less, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's a part of it. And the scripture says, uh, grow in the grace thereof, man. And this truth, it's about growth. If you, if you came in this truth a year ago and you the same nigga you was a year ago, this truth is not benefiting you, man. Yeah. It's not benefiting you. It's about growing this thing, getting your spirit right. Because because all hell is about to break loose. People don't understand that. People think that when we read this Bible, that it's just words come, all coming off the page. No, all hell is about to break loose. And when that hell does break loose, you're going to want the Lord to, to help you. You're going you're gonna to want to call upon the Lord for help. You, you're going to want the Lord to deliver you out of whatever situation that you may be in. So... And in and, 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 and return for that, it's our job to do what the Lord commanded us to do. And do it with vigor. Do it seriously, man. Mm. All right? I got a precept. Um, this is the book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. You already had it? Yeah, okay, go ahead. You grab, you grab it there, brother. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this is the book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. It says, 
they that are delivered from the noise of arcs and archers, Salakia, in the places of, of um, drawing water. So the places of drawing water is talking about slavery over right. here in America, man. And the noise of the archers talk about those nuclear missiles. We, the whole point of us being in this truth and doing this thing, you know, to, to, to the best of our ability, is to be delivered from the noise of those archers. What that, what that, what that, turn that sign around? That's the whole point we out here, man. At the end of the day, it ain't out here to, to show off a garment. It ain't out here to, 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 to bring sticks to camp. It's to be delivered from the hell that's coming to this place. That's all that matter. To hell with everything else. It ain't about how you feel or what you think or, 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 or none of that shit. It's about getting delivered. That's what it means to be saved. Uh -huh. Go ahead. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of said, there, mm -hmm. meaning here in our, in our captivity in America, we are going to rehearse the righteous acts. You see, so what we're doing right here is a rehearsal, man. Meaning that even though we're rehearsing it, we're not going to get it perfectly. It's not, it's not perfect, but we're rehearsing it. Uh, so even so, to understand something, if you're rehearsing something, that means that it's not going to be perfect, but, 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 but you're trying. Mm -hmm. So in that, take it seriously. <laughs> take it seriously. That's, that, that, that shows you how, how serious, if you, if you, if you got a, say, say, say you in a band or something, okay, and you got a show coming up, and y'all got to rehearse for the show, but motherfuckers playing and laughing and things a joke shit, you, you, the director going to tell you, hey, don't worry about coming to, 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 to the show, because when we were rehearsing, you wasn't rehearsing. Right. You, we po it's, that's the whole point of a rehearsal, is to get it ready for when the time comes, you ready. But if you ain't, if, if you ain't ready even during the rehearsal, how are you going to be ready during the actual time? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, read it up a little bit. It says, There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his village, villages in Israel. Mm -hmm. And it said the righteous acts. What are the righteous acts? Coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and the ways that Yahweh Shemal Shai established from the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, which was completely, you know, uh, erased out of the way when we came over here to America. Okay, that's why it says where they have spiritually crucified our Lord. You know, they crucified the image of our Lord, what our Lord was about. Even the high holy days of our Lord. They even thought to change times and seasons, man. Mm -hmm. To now where this devil, now over there in uh, Jerusalem, they keep the Shabbat Friday, Saturday. That's what, what the fake Jews keep, which is not biblical, man. So what they doing is they wiping out all the history, all the laws. And now guess what? The Lord has it to where his men in the, the end times are waking up and rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. That's right. So some of the righteous acts are what? The high holy days, the Sabbath, uh, your dietary laws, mm -hmm. things that you do. You rehearse these acts. We're not going to get it perfect, mm -hmm. but we do rehearse for the, for the day when the yeah. Lord comes. You want to be found worthy when the Lord comes. Yeah, the law, statutes, commandments, you know, keeping those things, man, because see, all that is a part of, you know, uh, stand on that righteous path, man. See, the Lord has revealed that to us you know, through these times so that we can have a chance our salvation, man. Yeah. And when you can keep the righteous acts, that's even much of a closer right, yeah. way to get closer to Yahweh Bashan al Shai and a chance, you know, uh, 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 to that salvation, man. Yeah. And right see? now, hey, right now, man, if if you are um, pretty much, if you are not rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, nine times out of ten, you probably want not one of the elect, man. Because yeah. we at the end of this thing. Okay, now you obviously you're gonna have brothers that's still gonna be waking up, but if you know about being an Israelite, you know you're an Israelite and you're not rehearsing the righteous acts, you're probably not one of the elect. Okay? And that's that. But go ahead. It says It says, Then shall the people of the Lord Yahweh Shai go down to the gates. Mm -hmm. That's on that. I got, I got a precept real quick. Mm -hmm. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. I got it. That was, that was really you got it? Yeah. Got, quick, got quick in that, but I ain't giving you this. One. Yeah. <laughs> Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see mm -hmm. and ask for the old past. The old past. All right? And the old path wasn't celebrating Christmas, Valentine's Day, and Halloween, man. Mm -hmm. The old path, you go to the old path, you learn about your ancient history of what they did <clears throat> in uh, uh, biblical times, man. Because whether you believe it or not, we're still in biblical times. That's right. Because the Bible holds the past, the present, and the future. Uh, okay? It says, and ask for the old paths. The old path. Where is the good way? The good way. Okay? And that's what we did. We woke up to the truth. You woke up to your heritage, the Israelites, and you asked for the old path. Mm -hmm. Okay? Which is what? Coming back to your Lord. Mm -hmm. All right? Which starts with coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and figuring out who you are. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, 
and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Ye shall find rest for your souls, man. All right, because being in this flesh, you know, we we constantly go off, man. Uh. All right, now the Lord He gave us the Day of Atonement for okay. all the sins that we did throughout the, the year, be wiped clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when when if you uh, uh, atone for your sins or whatever, and you cleanse and you just continue to be a nigga after the day of atonement that means you didn't really atone for your sins and really the uh, the main atonement is going to be is who yahweh shai right. right. he's he is our main atonement man he, right. he was the sacrificial lamb for the nation of israel mm -hmm. so in, in in a sense just us doing this is just to show that we believe man yeah you know, that's a part of our faith you know faith in our works is dead but at the end of the day uh, the ultimate atonement is going to be yahweh shai the elect have already been forgiven for their for, for, for their sins since the be the foundations of the earth, man. You know, so Lord, when we be the we you know that's what we are here for to be the elect, right? Yep. So the elect is already going has already been for, 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 forgiven, but and that we still have to reverse these righteous acts, man. Which is crazy because you know we have a day of atonement where the Lord wipes us clean of our sins, but when you like the brother just said, the elect have been atoned from the foundation of the earth. So the Lord has literally sanctioned the elect to not be imputed with sin. Okay, just like today, you were, all of us were cleansed of our sins. The elect were literally cleansed from their sins from the foundation of the earth. Before they committed those sins. Yep. Really? Now, let me grab this real quick. Oh, let me finish this. Yep. Up. It says, um, and they shall find rest for their souls, but they said, we will not walk therein. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. You see, so the Lord is very particular about certain things even in, in you read in, 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 in our history when you have men that didn't do what the lord couldn't told them to do exactly what he told you to do it you got put to death man yeah that was that that was the last we ever seen of that nigga <laughs> okay that, that that was it and we come into that time where people about to start getting put to death all over again yep. in miraculous ways you fucking get hit by a semi truck and then another semi truck hit, hit that semi truck the lord got, got some shit for you man That's this right. is why we pose the fear of the lord man the lord is to be feared greatly to be feared man Yep, like uh, a good example is, you know, we, brothers know the seriosity of the Sabbath day. You know, there was a guy that was picking up sticks on the Sabbath day. The Lord put his ass to death, man, mm -hmm. for picking up sticks. And he thought he was doing a good thing. Yep. You see, he thought that he was doing a good thing. Hey, but the scriptures say what? Many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Yep. Okay, so his vain opinion overthrew his judgment to where he thought it was okay to pick up sticks on the Sabbath and ended up dying, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, let me grab this real quick. Well, I'm touching on, on, on that point. Because at the end of the day, man, the Lord is looking for a certain type of spirit, man. Mm -hmm. That <laughs> these bodies ain't going to no chariots. You feel me? These bodies ain't going. You ain't going. You ain't, ain't going to be on a chariot in this body. You gonna have a whole new spiritual body on a chariot. But what's going to go on now is chariot is your spirit. Your spirit must be right. That's why the Lord set up certain things, have certain things a certain way. It, it may be things ways ways that you don't want things to be, or, or it may be something a way that you don't want it to be. Why? To cleanse you, to to to, to, to get you right, to, to to cleanse your spirit, man. We 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 are we gotta do this fast to cleanse our spirits first and foremost. You see, this is the book of Sam, First Samuel chapter fifteen, verse twenty-two, and this is going into how the Lord commanded Samuel to go destroy those fucking Amalekites. He told Samuel to go destroy them, their, 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 their sheep, their cattle, their women, their children, everything. And Samuel thought he was, he was going to do what the fuck he wanted to do, and because of that, Samuel got rejected from being king. You see, this is how serious the Lord is, man. They didn't call him Alishagia for no reason, which means horrible demon-like power. Because the Lord, when when she was you on this bad side, he oh, is talking about Saul. Saul. What I said. You said you said you were saying Samuel. I said Samuel. Salah, Salah. Um, but, but this was Samuel talking to uh, Saul. All right, because Saul had went off. Okay, and because of that, Saul got he he got took out of, of being king. And ultimately, got put to death. Yeah. But it says um. All for all for disobedience. The scriptures say um. What is it? Uh, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. I'm about to grab. Beautiful. It says, um, I'm going to start this. Uh, 1 Samuel 50, 15, verse 22. And Samuel said, Hath Yahweh as great, oh, slack you. Hath Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices? Because when the Lord told Saul to go over there and kill the Amalekites, he, 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 he uh, pretty much let some of them go. You know, he, 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 they, they uh, took all their cattle and all their substance. Yeah. And, he, and, he, and then and then when uh, Samuel came to Saul saying, yo, what the fuck you doing? Saul said, oh, well, we, we brought it back to make a sacrifice to the Lord. 
So he thought he was doing the right thing. He said, okay, we thought we do it bigger. But Lord, that's not right, because Lord told you to do something. He wants you to do what he told you to do. And it's uh, for a reason. You understand that if this, if Saul would have done, let me see that, sorry, brother. Sorry, brother. If Saul would have done what the Lord commanded him to do, which is all prophecy, these devils would not be ruling over us right now. <laughs> they won't be, they, they, they would have never been able to even fund slavery, you know, build slave ships to, to, to carry our black asses over here. This is why it's important to do what the Lord said. Because now you got these devils ruling over us to this day, man. God, and if I may add, you know, Steve, Saul thought he was doing something good, you see, and that even that was even uh bad looking, you know, to uh, you know, when Samuel went and told, you know, the Lord, because he had to report it, because it was like he was being disobedient and Samuel favored uh Saul, man. That's right, that's right. You that's know, right. so even being that saying Lord don't give a damn who you is. You know, you know, the Lord's not respectful of persons, man. That's right, that's right. So if you're not doing what the Lord told you to do, how much more when it comes to the times being, man? Exactly. You know? Exactly. How much more? You can't do it now. How much more when you ain't got no fucking food in your stomach, you getting chased by truth, you getting, you know, you're gonna fucking bug out. You're gonna turn to a nigga, and that's gonna be the last we ever seen of your ass, man. Uh -huh. That's the reality. We 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 out here for salvation at the end of the day, man. You see? And the brother brought a good point because um um Samuel was the one who appointed Saul yep, to, yep. before the Lord to say, hey, Lord, make this man king. Yep. So you know how embarrassing that is? That you come to the Lord and say, hey, Lord, this man right here, man, this man is a, this, the this, king. This man right here, he better be king. Where's the Lord? And I trust this man. And the man turn and go fuck shit up. And then you looking like, sorry, the Lord. Yeah. Uh, Lord, I'm sorry. It's like, you hook, it's like you hook a brother up with a job and the brother come in there and be a complete, complete schmuck. And get you, get you get in there. Get your you ass in, you ass in, you in Yeah. I got something to add for you. For that's uh, Hold on, finish this. Finish this. It says, um, have Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord. So he said, does the most high delight in sacrifices over obeying his voice? He says, behold, look, to obey is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So you got Jake, you tell him something, and instead of them doing what you tell them to do, they're they, they, they going to do what the fuck they want to do and try to make a sacrifice for it. But the Lord said, it is better to obey than to make a sacrifice. The sacrifice meaning you already fucked up. And you're trying to uh, 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 amend for your fuck up. It's better to not fuck up and just do what you was told to do. And, that, and that's the spirit that the Lord is putting all of us in, man. Yeah. And we you come into this truth, like we walking on eggshells. We can't do what the fuck we want to do. I can't just sit up here and say, okay, I want to do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm, I'm going to do that. No, it's all according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now it says, um, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. You see? Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, Yahweh, he have also rejected thee from being king. Sure. Now, when he, when, when he said, because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, this, 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 he's saying that Yahweh came down to the earth and told Saul, uh, Saul personally to go do this? No. The Lord sent Samuel to tell him to do this. So the Lord deals with men. The Lord will use a man to tell you to do something, and if you don't do it, the Lord going to use that same man to tell you the Lord about to destroy your ass. And that's what, that's what happened with, 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 with uh, Saul. And that's why the Lord gives us an opportunity like today to get, to get our spirits right, to get our minds right, to get you know, back you know, in the flow of things and doing our best of our ability to offend less in the Lord. Because when the Lord does come with that graph and instruction, many people are about to die. We are coming into a time where by the end of this year, many people are going to die. People are going to start dropping like fucking flies. And you don't want it to be you. Uh, you see? Uh, you have some? You you, have go ahead, go ahead. Go this, ahead. this Proverbs 16 and 25, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. So uh, in, the, in the man's own mind, he could think, I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing this right. I'm doing this right. But you probably ain't doing it right. Okay? There's a way that seems right unto a man. A man may think that, oh, yeah. If I, uh, I mean, you, got, you got certain men that think that selling drugs is right. Because they, 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 it's the only way that they can make money. Oh, it's, it's all I got, brother. It's all I got. It, it's, that don't make it okay. You got to figure something out. Figure, figure out another way. So because that way seems right to you, you're going to continue to do it. That's not how it works. And that's, that's Jake as a whole right now under these curses. Oh. You know, because uh, Jake is lost. Jake is bugged the hell out, man. All right? Go ahead. Uh, what were you saying? I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something. Go ahead. Bring it back. This Proverbs 16 and 25. There is a way that seemeth right <laughs> unto a man, but the end thereof oh. are the ways of death. Salakia. And what I was going to say is black culture. That's exactly what it is. Black culture. Black culture doesn't promote nothing but prostitution, whoredom, uh, smoking drugs, drugs, drug dealers, and all that. 
That's all. Oh, okay. Killing. Homosexuality. Homosexuality. And with, with black culture, there is no accountability. No accountability. For anything. Exactly. You just do what the fuck you want to do. Exactly. And niggas just doing the fuck. Niggas believing what they want to believe and doing what the fuck they want to do. We're not doing that here, man. And Jake actually believed that they're doing what's right. Yeah. God. Until they cast a judgment. God, when you look at it, that just shows you how much more of our people are just wickedly just under the vibration of these devils. <laughs> You know, because you see Jake thinking that's okay, man. But when you go to the scriptures and going to pretty much deciphering those things, hey, the Lord does not, he does not, uh, uh, you know, he does not accept those things, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that black culture, you know, BS, you got Jake still following that type of mindset, man. Being a thuggo, want to sell drugs, want to be in that mindset. Like if you ain't got it, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I still want it. You know what I'm saying? That right there. Is the mindset of our people, man, which follows down to destruction. And in these end times, you got Jake trying to bring that spirit even over into this truth, man. You got Jake making drill rap music and shit. So it shows you, which what we seeing right now is niggas is waxing worse and worse, man. They wax some worse and worse. And for you to, but to see this, man, to see this, to be a man of the Lord pushing this truth and to see this, it's supposed to put the fear in you. You supposed to be like, shit, damn, you got, you know, uh, one body in your house, you uh, uh, Sakari, Aisha uh, McKay, IUIC, the list goes on and on. These niggas just coming out with blasphemies and heresies and all types of bullshit. You know why? Because the Lord is putting demons on their ass, man. Yeah, the Lord says, <laughs> it, 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 it's not in their control. They, 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 you know, they, 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 they don't know what the fuck going on. Those guys got demons on them, man. Who do who thinks sent them demons on their ass, man? The Lord. Uh, the deceived and the deceivers are his, man. And, and, right. and that's that that right there is should be the spirit. Cause even you know when you read about um Saul, when when, when he realized that he fucked up, you know, he, the, the Lord put demons on his ass, man. Uh, Saul had demons on him. Yeah, that's why he tried to kill David. Try to kill, kill kill King David. Hey, and even with that, King David was the one playing the harp for him so that he wouldn't deal yeah, with those things. Out. Yeah, so he can, you know, have some type of peace of mind, man. And that shows you that when you, when you got demons on you, the Lord can send a brother to, to, to try to help you out. But you may think this brother trying to do the worst thing for you. You're going to buck up against this brother when the brother's trying to help you out. Try to hunt it. See that you make it on the chariot. You see how, how, how the spirit of Jake, man, our people are fucked up in the head. And that's why two-thirds are not going to make it. This thing that we're we, we, we partaking in right now, this, this, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't no easy thing. This is saying something like this ain't this this takes it's gonna take everything out of you, man. Literally. Everything out of you. Everything. If you're not willing to give everything, then you you, you might as well say you know you are not even in this thing, man. Yeah. Cause it's gonna to come to a point where you're gonna go day by day until shit really get real and then scripts talk about how what? What shall separate from the love of your whole boss and y'all shy? Shall peril, tribulation, because when that tell when those times come and you getting some some backlash, it's gonna be hard to uh you know, keep that. That that uh that, that that fire spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Why why you probably be acquiring it right now? Hey, and that that question that Paul had asked, what shall separate us from the love of Amashiach? All that stuff that he listed, tribulation, all that, we're all gonna go through it. That's right. Okay, and it's gonna come. Each and every one of us are gonna have our own individual hour of temptation, man. That's right. And if you are not prepared, if you haven't been built up in the spirit. The Lord ain't gonna be with you, man. And and it's the man's jobs that's over you to help you get there. But the fact that if you don't get there, and the man help you get there, that's on you. Yeah. That's on you, man. You know, and 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 that's what that's the scary part about it is that the Lord can you know have everybody else get there but your ass because all of, all because of your own disobedience, obedience. Okay, uh, you know, following the spirit is very important in this thing as we get close, close to the end of this thing, man. Because if, if Jacob's trouble come and you get out of the spirit for a split second, that's your ass. Like, you, that, that, if that split second, a bullet can come and smack your ass. You, 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 now you lay it out. And that's the last we're going to see of your ass, man. It's time to keep moving. We can't stop. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, the brother. No, that's why you're supposed to be in the spirit now. Getting in the spirit now. That's the whole point of us being in this, being in this truth, man. Uh, hold on. What, what, what you have real quick? This is uh, uh, Book of Romans, that? chapter 5, and verse 8. But the Most High commanded his love towards us, and that while we yet sinners, a Mashiach died for us. Mm -hmm. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. Mm -hmm. For if when we were enemies, we were recounseled to the Most High by the death of his son, much more being recounseled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, by whom we have now received the atonement. That's right. The what? The what? 
The atonement. The atonement. We are in the day of atonement. So our Lord is the ultimate atonement for our sins. Okay? Uh, real quick. And that's why That's why it's our best nature. It's an, our, our best nature to go out here and do this work for Yahweh Bashan al You know? The Lord commanded us to do this. It's to go out there and bid to the marriage, man. You know? So if any anytime we can do this, it's what we're going to do. Because before, you, you, you had to make a sacrifice, a literal burnt offering. To, 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 to show your, um, your uh, you know, your, uh, to, to, and, and, and attempt to show your atonement. But in this time, by us coming here doing this work and put, making our bodies that live in sacrifice, that is the atonement, man. Mm -hmm. and, and like the brother said, the, the Lord already, our, is already our atonement. Right. You know, so we really just going through the motions, man. You know, we, it's something we got to do. It ain't, no, it ain't no, oh, you know, I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like I got to do it. No, we have to do it. And then doing it is preparing us for, for when the Lord does come so that we can be found of him in peace, man. God. That's the whole goal, to be found in the Lord in peace. Because if the Lord come, he come with great death and destruction. He said, he said he, he said he come with his chariots as a whirlwind and to render fire, <laughs> okay? And when the Lord does come on this earth, it's going to be a, a, a hell of a day. Yeah. A hell of a day. And in that day, you want to find mercy from him, man. Uh, yes, if I may add right quick, your brother said atonement, and I got the definition on that. Grab it. And the, uh, the blue letter, all right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and let you listen to Jerome's what I Jerome's Acts 37, 22. Kafir. All right, which is atonement, all right. It says to cover, purge, make an atonement, all right, uh, to cover over, all right, um, to make an atonement for, mm -hmm. all right, which is our Lord was for, man. All right. Real so, quick. All right, go no, ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay, con. All right. So this day being an important day because for our sins that we have committed, man, uh, we already have our big, uh, biggest represent. Uh, uh, representative. Yeah, representative. All right. Great example was the hour shot, man. Yep. Okay. Well, well, really, we are the Lord's representatives. Con. You see, because a representative is somebody that, that that's gonna represent something. Okay, as we representing Yahweh Bash and Yahweh, you gotta represent them right, man. Uh, like, like for right. another good example, was Sakari ain't doing it right, man. Them guys, yeah. somebody got sticks that kept, and then they had the nerve to mention the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. You know, showing you that, that that's a complete carnal mind. How you gonna put the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone in, in the same fucking song where you talking about you got sticks that kept? That's a fucking demonic spirit, man. That's a, 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 that is a carnal spirit. Yep. And that's not a good way to represent this truth. And that's why you're gonna see guys, that's why them guys going to camp and getting shot at and shit, man. Because you asking for the shit. It's, it could come to a certain point where you doing shit that yeah. you just asking for, man. Hey, and I wouldn't be surprised if some of them guys end up with bullets in their head yeah. at yeah. camp. And, you know, and, soon. And, you know, Alizar, your ass, blood gonna be in your fucking hands, man. Yeah. You supposed to be in charge of those men. You supposed to be in... <laughs> Y'all in that spirit. When they start fucking... Because, listen, man, when you, when you, when you, when you get carnal, there's oh, motherfuckers out there that can get a lot more carnal, man. <laughs> okay? You... You think you bad. You think you fucking bad. And that's why you're going to start seeing a lot of people drop dead, man. Yep. A lot of these guys are losing the spirit. The Lord has got these guys bringing out doctor, uh, doctors of devils, you know. And in these end times, as we see in this, we probably be making an atonement for our sins so that the Lord don't have that happen to us too, man. Because, right. hey, ain't none of us, you know. Um, above that. Yeah. The above, Lord can yeah. put that spirit on any exactly. single one of us. Exactly. And that's, that's what keeps you humble and... and you know, uh, with the fear of the Lord, man, keep you humble in this thing. Because if you're not humble, you ain't. The Lord hates somebody that has pride, man. Pride is hated by the most high. So if you are a proud guy or woman, the Lord is ultimately going to kill you, man. You know? Now, at the end of the day, we're not perfect. We fall short. But these guys like Sakari, man, they're so built up with pride to where you try to tell them anything. And they just trying to uh, go back and forth. We're not in the time for that, man. Like uh, Yaiqu Elder Yaikwab said, if a nigga can't get it, we are definitely moving on at this point. And that was years ago, you know? Uh, uh, hold on, let me grab this real quick. And then brothers, grab their precepts. Concerning uh, this brother's precept, concerning <coughs> our Lord being a sacrifice. Hebrews 10 and 10. By the which, actually, uh, Hebrews 10 and 9. Then said he, lo, I come to do thy will, O Yahweh. He taketh away the first that he may establish the second. Mm. By the which will we, by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Yahweh Shah Mashiach once for all. 
And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of the Most High. So the Lord, he is our ultimate sacrifice. Okay, he is the one that has made the elect cleanse from the foundation of the earth and even the whole nation of Israel. Okay, because you're going to have two thirds that's going to be that's going to die. But Yahweh Shai is still going to be atonement for them after they, you know, uh, catch their judgment. That's right. Uh, but that was it on that. Uh, you got a preset? No. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all two brothers. Yeah. Go ahead. You're good to go. Um, this is Philippians 2 and 12. And it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Yeah, so you gotta you gotta first of all, you're supposed to understand that Yahweh Shai is watching 24-7. Whether you believe it or not, Yahweh Shai is in the heavens watching everything that goes down. So how much more so should we be uh, in these scriptures and in the spirit, you know, in, in the absence of the Lord, even though he's not here in the flesh, we got to be on fire for this thing, man. Go ahead. It says work out your own salvation. Do with what? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. You got to work out your own salvation, man. With fear and trembling. That's what we do. That's why we come out here and do these shows, do these lessons. <laughs> One reason is because it's our uh, reasonable service. The Lord commanded us to do it. And two, we working out our own salvation, man. You know? Go ahead. All right, you got a precept? Go ahead. Bring your hands yeah, up. Right. It's the book of uh, Baruch, chapter 4. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 27. It says, Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Yahweh, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Yeah, because you got to remember, the Lord is the one who put us in this situation to begin with. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to cry out to anybody... The first, if, hey, look, if something happens in your life and the first person you call is someone in, in the camp and you're not calling on the Lord, something ain't right. Judgment ain't there. The first person you need to call on is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Then you can call a brother. It's the only person I can save you in the first place. Hey, yeah, brother can't, brother can't say if, if the Lord put a demon on your ass, I can't get it off you. All right, so you call me ain't going to really help you that much. I'm going to say, brother, I'm here for you, brother. Hey, shout out to Juan. King David was playing the harp for, bucks, for King for us all. Right. You know, and... <laughs> Trying to get that demon off his ass, and he that caused that demon caused him to throw a damn thing at, at to throw the damn um the at, at, at uh, King David, man. So, you know, a brother can try to help you, but also if the Lord, you know, put a demon on your ass, man, you need the Lord to get it off you, man. Yep. You know, it says uh, verse twenty eight. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, mm. so being returned right, because our ancient forefathers, which we are our forefathers regenerated fell short you know we had law such the commandments that the Lord gave us he said look keep these laws and you shall live do this don't do that do this don't and well, Jake went off which was all part of the plan to begin with to make us into gods of the earth you know lowercase g you know but now that we're coming back you got to seek the Lord ten times more man ten times more all right go ahead read it one more time uh, verse 28, for as it was your mind to go astray. From Boom. Real quick, you got to take accountability, man. You wake up to this truth, you got to, before you can start looking at these damn crackers, oh, you fucking devil. Blah, blah, blah. No, look at yourself. Understand that we fell short. We in this position because we fell short. Now the Lord used these damn crackers to punish us, but you got to examine yourself, man. Take accountability, man. Jake don't know how to take accountability for shit. Go ahead. God, it says, uh, so being return, seek him ten times more. Yeah, so we returned. Okay, the Lord brought us back to our heritage, being from the tribe of Judah, Ephraim, uh, Levi, whatever it is, seek him ten times more, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 29, for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Yeah, because the Lord is in control of happiness, hatred, love, war, everything. Okay, so even though the Lord brought the plagues upon us, he's going to also Ooh. take those plagues off of us, put them on our enemies, and deliver his elect, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, Lord, the Lord is the father of all spirits. Verse 30. 
Yeah, go ahead. God, verse 30 says, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the Lord gave us that name, Jerusalem. All right? Uh, uh, Israel, Yasharala, Prince of the Power. And he is going to comfort us. Coming into this truth, brothers have been comforted. That's why we got the scriptures. That's why the scriptures are labeled as the comforter. And the, it's the spirit that comes with the scriptures that's going to comfort you, man. That's right. And if the Lord isn't dealing with you, he's not going to give you the spirit of the comforter, man. You know? God. And that's that. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that's how we're able to really understand these scriptures, too. So. Yeah. You know, Lord give, 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 give us this. He, he, that, that, that's the Lord supping with you, man. You know, giving you this understanding, helping you able to, you know, Medit or meditate and, and maneuver in the spirit, man. Wow. All right, and that's wow. what you need in this thing, man. You you, you, you just read this Bible like it's a damn a damn a menu, okay? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't benefiting you, man. All right. What uh, I hear? I think the brothers are going here. What you got? It's the book of Joel, chapter two, verse twelve. It says, "Therefore now, therefore also now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart." And with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. This is spirit supposed to be in right now, man. This, this is spirit you're supposed to be in right now. This is a time that has, about, has, has happened. This, you, you know this damn devil Biden just came on TV and said that it's, it, it is a, uh, a, what is it, a pandemic of the unread. What do you think that means? Then he said that, what, what, what else he said about the, uh, the people of color? You want to take it first? Yeah, he, 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 he uh... He was uh, pretty much assisting that he was gonna, you know, war. He's gonna have war amongst the, the low income, man. Yep, yep. All right. And he called it, and he called it the the B I P C O, which you know pretty much just goes into it means like black yeah. indigenous people of color. Yeah. And that's 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 Jake. That's this old sign right here, man. God. Black indigenous <coughs> people of color. And so pretty much what Biden said, he's going to rage war on you niggas, and you on have no idea. On the Israelites, yeah, man. You, and Jake has no idea. Scriptures say about how um, the, um, the dragon shall seek to make war with the woman. Yeah, the remnant and the remnant of her seed. Mm -hmm. Somebody grab that, because that's what that man was talking about. When, and when he say people of color, that's why he said black and indigenous people of color, because he ain't talking about them fucking East Indians, man, blacker than we is, man. Some of them East Indians are blacker than us, all right? But he ain't talking about them. He ain't talking about them fucking ham lights over there. He talking about Israelites, man. You see, it's all about Israel. So this man telling you the the, the, the fucking chief, what, what they call him, the commander in chief of this country that we in right now, here in our captivity, saying he about to make a war against us, and you don't understand what time we in. Con, and you really, and when you look at it too, man, you know he really putting it out there. Yeah, he's he, there letting you, literally letting, letting you know. He, the Lord has put a spirit on him to give you niggas a head, a fucking a warning, man, a heads up. And, 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 if, and if you ain't in the right spirit, you, you are not getting the warning. You have not gotten the heads up. Yo ass just gonna be warm up your day, la da 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 And the bullet hit your ass, man. You, that's, what's, that's how it's gonna happen. It's gonna start getting hit. Alright? Go ahead, brother. Hey, bring that back. You still want that revelation? Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, grab this revelation. Oh, come on. Oh, you had it. Go ahead, brother. This is Revelation 12 and 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. The dragon is talking about this damn devil, man. These Edomites, man, they about to show you they the fucking devil, man. They, 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 they came as a lamb at first, speaking real small, uh, 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 soft. We're talking about how they got to help their black and Hispanic uh, brothers and sisters. Now they're telling you flat out that they, 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 they about to make war with your ass, man. Meaning that they going to start killing niggas. Uh, if you buck up against it, they're gonna start killing you. The motherfucker flat out told you his, their patients are, ru are, are, are running thin. He yeah. looked dead in the camera, looked me dead in my motherfucking eyes. He said, Our patience is wearing thin. Our patience is wearing thin. I mean, like what? What happens, what, happens when, what happens when they got more patience? This man gonna be like a madman sparing none. Uh, and this is why it's spiritual that the Lord had it where the Day of Atonement is right here today before this shit is popping off. Because this shit can pop off like the end of this month, next month type shit, man. Uh, so it's spiritual that the Lord has set up a day of atonement for us right before this so that we can get right with him before this man start making war. Because you, I can answer in the two-thirds of Israel and the majority of niggas that claim to be in this truth ain't keeping a day of atonement, man. They, they ain't keeping these high holy days, you know? So when that time does come, they're going to get laid the fuck down. Uh, uh, okay, and, it says, oh, okay. and it says, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Which is, what's the testimony of Yahweh Shai? Prophecy, man. 
Okay? And, 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 and they keeping the commitments to your house to the best of their ability? That's talking about the elect, man. Pretty sure. That ain't talking about all Israel. That's talking about the elect. The rest of Israel is already fucking through. You, if, listen, if you, if you took that thing, your ass is good as dead. Yeah, that's why That's why they ain't really worried about your ass. Yeah, they worried about the ones you. who didn't take it. Yeah, if exactly. If you didn't take it, we on your ass. Can hey, you imagine taking that shit? <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then all of a sudden, it's this whole thing going on with the motherfuckers who didn't take it. And you thinking like, damn, well, all right, all right, all right, take it, all right, take it. But well, you got to ask yourself, why these people that didn't take it are fighting so hard not to take it? Why are they making a big deal about them not taking it? Because something going on. And the truth is, they already got your ass, yeah, man. When you think about it, man, all the, all the unbeat men are the ones that doesn't trust in the system, man. That's right. Most of them. You know, right. Some of them are just not. Hey, they, they go forward sometime. Yeah. But, hey, it's, yeah. it's mainly of people that don't trust the system. So when you think about it, they don't want people that doesn't trust the system. All right? They want people to be all of one accord. Yeah, that's right? Right. So if you don't trust this shit, hey, they coming for your ass, That's man. right. That's, that's, that's you, mainly of prophets, man. The man uh, of the Lord. Kind of, I may add to the brother, man. Uh, it was this a brother posted a video in the chat, and it was this, this uh, whatever yeah, you want to call it, dyke looking, you know, beast Bruce or whatever you want to call it. Uh, pretty much, you know, weeping about her damn sister dying, you know what I'm saying, because she took the damn thing. And then she wondered why she looking stupid, you know what I'm saying, because her sister died, because she realized that, oh, oh shit, I remember people told me, you know, go get that damn thing. You know, now she got that build up anger. And you wonder why, you know, you're gonna have people out here looking stupid as hell and ready to go, you know, against the damn system for the simple fact that because they trusted in these devils, man. Why you think that ones that haven't got it are already in that mindset of knowing that, man, because it has a destruction name on itself, you yeah, know? And, and the Lord gonna put some spirits in these people, man. You know, you got the people that took that shit, they gonna get a spirit on their ass. Then you got people who didn't take it, who the Lord not dealing with, he's gonna put a spirit on their ass, man. And it's gonna be complete, total fucking chaos. Damn, man. Total chaos. We about to see some shit out here, man. Uh, hey. And you supposed to be really getting your your, 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 your spirit for, for, for this years ago, man. Mm -hmm. Preparing for this thing. By this time, you you should be ready. You should be praying to the Lord every single day that this thing come now. Uh -huh. See? Because at the end of the day, man, it ain't, ain't, ain't nothing left to, to, to here for us, man. It's only gonna get worse, man. Okay, you about to start seeing the people that that, that yeah, you, 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 you consider your families dying, <clears throat> your, your old friends, kids you went to high school, you about to start dropping fucking dead. Hey man, and the crazy part is there's not enough you can do to take care, man. Yeah. You know, we only we can only do so much, but even in the so much that we do, it, it's really not enough because there's always more that can be done. Uh -huh. You know, that at the end of the day, the elect are gonna obtain what they need to obtain to gain that salvation. But the, the point is, there's always more that can be done. That's right. You shouldn't be just sitting on your hands, or, or, or yeah, sitting on your hands, not doing shit, man. Yeah. You know. And, and that comes with faith too, man. Because hey, man, your brothers are gonna still be learning in the time of the trouble. You know, you're gonna have situations where you're gonna be going through things, and you're gonna be like, you know, getting constantly reminded with things. But well, really, fear. Mm -hmm. Fear is a beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, about, it's about to be much fear on this earth, man. You know, pe pe people nowadays today, you know. He's starting to see it. Hey, it was a video brother did, brother um, B B Bakar Mock, beautiful video. But he, he went into how on Twitter, New World Order is trending. <laughs> New World Order is trending on Twitter. And this is the same thing that we've been proclaiming to you people for years. For years, if people didn't want to hear it, they thought we was bullshit, we was a conspiracy theorists, and this and that, we know what the fuck we're talking about. But now, all of these Americans, because you got motherfuckers on the news saying it now. If, when, yeah. we, when we were saying it, motherfuckers were us crazy. Oh, yeah, y'all crazy, man. That ain't happening. I ain't happening. And motherfuckers come up here, you say, okay, we, 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 we shall see. We shall see. That's about the time you see motherfuckers, going to be too late. You ain't going to see. Okay? Hey. But the fact that motherfuckers are now deciding to research the New World Order and shit like that shows you these people are finished, man. It's too fucking late. And I remember when I first started researching the New World Order, half them fucking videos and articles and shit that was up, it's not up no more. Damn, they, they took that shit down. Even when you go into the MOTV, man, all that shit is gone, bro. They taking videos down. So the time to get it was fucking. I heard, I heard a saying, a wise saying. Look at this fucking video. I heard a wise saying. It said the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, man. <laughs> that was the best time to plant a tree. It ain't fucking today, okay? You say same the time to be trying to go into all these uh, breakdowns and these conspiracy theories now, man. You might be a little. A tad bit too fucking late. For real. Because <laughs> now this damn devil in Australia coming out telling some, uh, we're trying to see how contract tracing works in the New World Order. So they flat out telling you New World Order now. 
And because the people, these people, they didn't believe it when, when we said it. You got that precept, brother? It's a rock. The uh, Habakkuk. Yeah, um, I do. They didn't believe it whenever we said it. <coughs> but they had to wait till, what, niggas on the, they don't believe shit when they see it on TV, man. So they had to wait till it's on TV. Now, now motherfuckers looking it up. It's too late to look it up now. It's too late. If you don't know, if you don't know what the world order is by now, man, it's because your ass gonna be in. <laughs> it never reminds me of that Geico commercial where the dude was on the fishing pole. He's like, oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, yeah. you gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, man. Cause, cause, it. cause, hey, the Lord sent his prophets out here for a reason and to warn these people over and over and over. We like every single week, man, for years, <laughs> for years. Sometimes, two times, three times a week, for years. <laughs> telling you about this new world order, telling you what you see happening today is what's gonna happen. And nobody wanted to hear it. But now that it's, <laughs> you seeing it, now they want to start doing some research and shit. It's too late, You know, man. it's funny. It's, you know, it's funny. Those same people that want to start doing research, once they get the knowledge a little bit, they get puffed the fuck up. Yeah. And then they try to tell you some shit. Yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah. what are you, you done just woke up to this. The scriptures say knowledge puffeth up. You know, so you so got, got a diaper hand off your ass. Yeah, but really, really. And they don't even know you're Israelite. You yeah, just right, found out yeah. about a new world order and you get all puffed up. Come they, on, they, man. Thinking you know some shit. Well, you right. really don't know the half of it, man. The new world order is not even the fucking the half of these that was coming. Bro, that's, in, the, man. that's the beginning. That's a cherry on that's top. The, that's the <laughs> ice of the tip bird. Or the, that's uh, the cherry. I, the, uh, the tip of the iceberg. For real. God. What'd you say? The tip, <laughs> ice of the tip bird. Ice of the tip bird. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, All right. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. So the vision that we have been proclaiming to people over and over and over and over again. Somebody got me Ezekiel 33. And 33, uh, the vision we have been proclaiming to you over and over and over again was for an appointed time. <laughs> and now that appointed time is starting to speak. Yeah, now like, you see this. You see? Now everybody, it was it was a video of a man, uh, some Christian nigga, talking about how the elders and apostles was on, um, on, on um, in, in New York, was, was was talking about how they hate white people. No, 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 no the Hebrews like saying they hate white people. Well, he said it'll take five minutes to talk about the damn MOTB. And everything that they said is happening right now. Everything that they, that they said is, is happening. It's starting, it's, so everybody's starting to see it. What? Showing you that you have prophets among you, man. Okay? Uh -huh. Proclaiming this vision to you. Telling you this is coming. This is coming. This is coming. And so the Lord put the Spirit in us to come out here and do. To warn you are the people, man. Uh -huh. So everybody done been warned. Whether you believe it or not, you've been warned, man. If you, 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 you just now finding out what the New World Order is, don't say you wasn't warned about it years ago, man. Because you was walking down the street and you seen us. Okay, sure. Go uh, ahead. We'll start from the top. Yep, yep. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak mm -hmm. and not lie. And what? And not lie. And not lie. We went not lie when we told you the shit was coming, man. The elder apostles weren't lying when they said that this was it, this was going to come down the pipe. Yeah, you know what it is? They they wanted it to be a lie. Yeah, absolutely. They wanted it to absolutely. be a lie. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to, the, to the point where they believed it to be a lie in their own minds, yep. or now they see it happening and they're like, holy shit. Hey, and they're gonna how be you know? How you know? What's the first thing Jake can tell your ass, man? You tell Jake this shit, he said, yeah, no, nah, man, I think it's coming. I think it's coming, man. There's not in our lifetime. <laughs> right. <laughs> Because <laughs> they don't, they don't, they didn't want it to happen, man. Right. They, 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 they instead of saying, "Damn," so you saying this is happening? Let me figure out what I can do to to, to get around, you know, to, to to get through this happening. Right. Instead of that, they just say, "You know, you know what? It's not happening. It's not happening in my mind, man." In my mind. In my <laughs> mind. In my mind. That's what. That's cognitive dissonance. Yeah. Dissonance. Yeah. And then now here you are. It's happening in your mind. It's happening at your job. It's happening <laughs> in your town. It's happening. It's happening with your fucking mayor, it's happening everywhere. <laughs> All right, I was on that. No, nah. though it tarry, <laughs> wait for it because it will surely come. Mm -hmm. It will not tarry. And people say, "Oh, y'all been saying it's gonna happen for this long and that long, and that ain't happened yet." Well, though it tarry, wait for it. It will not tarry. And it, it seems like it's taking a long time. It's coming now, man. Okay, it's coming. These motherfuckers are speaking, man. Hey, yo, By the man. end of this year, things are going to be completely fucking different. You can believe that, man. By, by, by December 31st, things are going to be very, very, very different. Uh, you, your ass might not have a house, a car, or a job. <laughs> by, 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 by December. Shit, all crazy. The Lord said, pray that your flight be not in the winter. Nah. All right? Because, hey, at the end of the day, man, the winter is coming. Okay? The winter is coming. This might be a very, very, very fucking cold one, man. A dark winter. It man. might snow out here down here in Florida. Shit. Dark <laughs> God, I wanted to grab, uh, add on to it, the bug. 
who, who got Ezekiel uh, 33? Uh, okay. uh, but Lee, you got it down there. Go ahead, so, um, Go ahead brother. This book of Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33, it says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, cause it, hey, man. You know it says when it comes to pass, lo, it will come. All right, cause it might tear it, but it's gonna come. All right, man. All right. Uh, go on. Yeah. Go on. It says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had hey, been hey. among them. Now, what, what does it mean when it say this cometh to pass? Is this talking about one specific thing? It's talking about the prophecies in this book, man. All the prophecies. Now the scriptures say measure it out of time diligently in itself. Well, measure, it. measure, yeah, uh, measure them, measure them times. And how do you uh, measure? You measure it with the prophecies, uh, man. Now most of these people out here, they don't know what prophet. They don't even. A lot of people don't even know what the word prophecy means. I don't ask someone what prophecy means. They have no idea. They think <laughs> little baby is the is the uh, the prophet. Is a prophet. They think Drake is a prophet. You know, they don't. They have no idea what a true prophet is. Uh, to the point where they see a true prophet. They take that man as a joke. But guess what? The prophets always got the last laugh. Mm -hmm. Noah got the last laugh, didn't he? Mm -hmm. When he was out there for a hundred years building a whole ark. A hundred years building an ark. Oh, Motherfucker was laughing at him, scoffing at him. Oh, yeah. Look, look it's the hey, rain guy. It's the hey, rain. Let's do the rain dance. They, they, making fun they, of they him was shit. making small boats and crashing them and shit. Yeah, just making fun of him. But guess what? Who got the last laugh? Noah got the last laugh. Uh, Motherfucker was trying to bang on that door, trying to get in. But the scripts say it was closed with the hand of the Lord, boy. Hey man, when, you think, when you think about it, man, uh, that that scripture right now is happening right now, man. It says, "Then shall they know a prophet has been among them." You know, and I just seen you know, uh, it was a post that was trending on Twitter, I guess, and it was like, uh, I guess we all owe our uh, conspiracy uh, theorist friend an apology. You know, because yeah, hey, I they saw that post. Come. They starting to realize that all this shit is starting to come to pass, man. Mm -hmm. Every all these prophecies and stuff that uh, the so called conspiracy theorist friend was telling them are starting to come to pass. And really, really what, 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 those prophets. Huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm about to get to that point. Because really, though, your conspiracy theorist friend was the man <laughs> who was dealing with to open his eyes to see some shit. Because he loved you and cared about you, tried to warn you, and you fucking completely scoffed and mocked him. That's crazy, man. Shouldn't be your fucking friend, huh? <laughs> Niggas. It says, um, let me grab this real quick. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in the in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. Of what? Of all the people. That's why the Lord said, that, well, that's why the scripture said the gospel shall be preached <coughs> to all the, the, world, the world. All the world and then the end shall come. Okay, so... Primarily, we, we we out here for the Israelites, but the gospel is going to be heard among all nations. That's right. Okay, That's so. Right. Hey, man. What, hey, you hey. know this. You know this. Um, you know when you see that this truth is starting to get spread around the whole earth, man. You know once you start noticing that other countries and continents and shit had this truth, man. You start noticing these prophecies are starting to be fulfilled, man. You know that's how you know this is the truth, man. And in these other countries, they're over there rioting like a motherfucker right now. Oh yeah. It's, it's civil unrest over there, man. Uh, when you go in that word gospel, man, it's good news, man. All right, it's good news for the Israelites, but it's bad news for these other heathens, man. You know, because, hey, they got a destruction coming upon them, man. Like, yeah, man, like, look, look, man. Like, if you got two guys that played the lotto, and one of them said, I won the lotto, I got good news. That's bad news for the other dude, right? <laughs> that, that played the lotto. That played, uh, you got two people that played the lotto. One of them says, I, won, I, got, I got good news, I won. That's bad news for the other guy. So what, the, good, the gospel is for Israel. That's right. That's so the right. good news for us is really bad news for all the other nations, that's all right? right. Y'all lost right. the fucking lotto. That's all right. right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who said that? He got the guy vocab. Malone said it, actually. He said, because these Israelites, they think that just because they're Israelites, that they, they, they won the lottery or something. <laughs> we fucking did. Yes, we did. We woke up. Being an Israelite, that's a, that's, that's a great that's a great thing right now, man. Because I would not want to wake up an Edomite. All right, <laughs> now you you fucking if you woke up an Edomite this morning, you struck out, man. Yep. <laughs> you struck, struck out. And you know the, the crazy part, hey, the craziest part is there was a point in time, even fifty years ago, yeah, where it was yeah. a good thing to wake yeah. up being white. Yeah. Right? Golly day, you had neighbors. niggas, you Golly had day. niggas making up wishing they was white. Right. Man. Golly day. <laughs> now, Golly day now they know. Now they waking up, it's not the same. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, times are changing, man. We're in a, hey, we're I'm, in a different eon. I remember when, when, I, when I was younger, man, it was it was fucking to be a Jake wasn't cool, man. 
Right. <laughs> it wasn't cool to be a fucking J. No, it was not. It wasn't cool, man. The, the, hey, the white guys got all the fucking girls and shit, man. <laughs> and now things are changing, man. The, everything is. What you about to say? It shows you in that show them. Oh, oh the, 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 the daughter yeah. wanted to be like the um, little Eat white chick, man. Yeah. She wanted to be just like that, be the cheerleader, be like, oh, I want to be on stage, she was painting her face with her makeup, and paint and oh. shit. makeup and all hey, that. Hey, that, that show, it showed you that Jake had demons on them, man. <laughs> Jake still got demons her on them. Her ass ran in, hid in the damn janitor's closet and started painting her face white because she was in a white school, man. Yeah, that's sure. demons, bro. Like, yeah. our people got demons on them. And that's why a lot of these niggas just ain't gonna be able to get it anyway because the Lord don't want you to get it, man. Wow. That's scary. And that demon questioned her sexuality, bro. Yeah. Because they wanted to kiss and all that. I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. Man. And that's, that's, what, that's, that's, that's what happened, man. When you, when, you, when you over here on this side of the earth, man, this place has done nothing but destroy us, man. This place is not our rest, man. Okay? Not our rest. I just saw a video this morning of, of, of them using a Jake. <laughs> it made a commercial. It was a commercial. Trying to make it cool to get the V, man. And they had a Jake oh, on there doing all this shit. And, <laughs> and they showed a little sling wow. where they fucking had like wow, a green man. syringe. And he was like this. He said, and they said, Shh. I said, what the fuck is that? Wow, bro. What they're advertising that. They're trying to make it cool. Like trying to make it like, yeah. I guess, like it's some, some, some fancy shit. To get. Yeah. Nah, man. That's, that shows you that we got to get the hell up out of here, it, man. It, it's crazy because they use a Jake, man. Because they know all these other nations uh, follow Jake, man. That's right. That's so right. They use a Jake to advertise this thing. <laughs> Other other uh, nations, other people start getting that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, when you ever notice too, man, it's when you see devil. when you go watching videos, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and in the videos, always when they go into the news and stuff, they always put Jake first. You see Jake always, they like they trying to help Jake every damn time, man. Putting the damn thing into Jake, man. I it is advertising putting Jake first, man. That just shows you how it's damn witchcraft. Yeah, exactly, man. It's witchcraft, man. And you that know piss me it, off, it, man. Wait, 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 when Jake turn his hat backwards. Everybody turn their hat backwards, man. Uh, so they want Jake to fucking be. Hey, man, Jake will fucking Jake lead. Is simple <laughs> enough. Jake, to do it, yeah, man. exactly. And Jake will lead the rest of the, the fucking world wow. into fucking the, the, a damn hit, man. It's crazy, yeah, look man. at this guy, little little Nas X. Oh, that dude, that's not even talk about it. That that dude, you gotta understand. He that dude right there, leading a fucking plethora of Listen, Israelites down. He has a song. Elko Star did a video on his song. Yeah. This, this song is called Industry Baby. Yeah. Uh, do you know what the fuck that means? No. That means that yeah. they use that motherfucker as an industry baby, as a pawn to push their agenda. And he knows it. He Heavy. Knows it. He, 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 he signed up for that shit, man. So, so this guy on fucking, and, and the reason why Pastor Ho went into it, because he said you, you go into baby videos on YouTube and his yeah. video pop up. Yeah. The baby yeah. video, wow. You type, you just type in you just baby, type in baby video. And, and it's him and Jark Harlow on that video, butt ass naked. Yeah. Doing sissy shit, man. So imagine, so you, only, imagine you, got a, you got a little sister that's 10 years old, 6 <laughs> years old, whatever. She go on YouTube, type in uh, baby videos. And let me tell you something, man. Naked Jake. And Jake, man, I don't know if y'all know this, boy, but Jake, boy. Look at Jake, man. Jake have kids. And what they what, what, what Jake do with their kids, man? Go on YouTube. They buy them a fucking tablet and sit them down in the corner somewhere. And, and the right. tablet is, 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 is literally Teaching raising you. a child. Yeah. So then they watching his pork watching cartoon right. shows and his cartoon shows you got some clips and skits and now some weird shit going on man. Two girls. You got up. you got motherfuckers that literally make a kid show and they'll put a little clip of some wicked ass shit in there, some satanic oh, ass yeah, shit yeah. in there, mm -hmm. and then it put, put and, 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 and the rest of it will be the rest of the kid show. So you, so you turn it on, look at it. Oh, it's good. You can watch it. Here you go. And while that kid are watching it, they'll ten like, minutes in the video, right? <laughs> fucking shot my demons in the eyes. Yeah, that bro. was happening with that piggy, that little piggy thing. Momo. Mm -hmm. Momo. Yeah, Momo. That's what exactly what it was called. It was called Momo. There's a thing where you watch a little, like brother said, a little uh, episode of a kids show. <laughs> ten minutes into the kids show, Momo will pop up, and pretty much what it's Momo is, baby. it'll tell you to kill yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's I'll a, because the little parents. baby is a sponge. So I when you're watching the show, it's saying, go get the knife, and then you cut your arm, and then you do this, and then you just stab yourself in the middle what? of a kids show. Yeah. And then it'll just go back to normal. What? Yeah. That's, hey, wow. that's what's going on. That's, that's what's wow. going on out here. And, and they don't ban those fucking videos. Yeah, they don't ban those videos. But if we was to do a video speaking on that shit, he might try to take this one down, man. This place is wicked. It's not for us, man. Let me finish this precept up real quick. Um, yeah, hey, that shit's sick. I done, I, done, I done seen a video like that oh, before. Yeah, that. Where there was a little, right. a little kid oh, show. And then, then, then a, a whole face of a demon pop up and it has a little kid voice. And it's like, yeah, now go ahead and just grab the knife. It's okay, mommy doesn't care. So and then just scratch. Like, 
a whole like for a good ten minutes leading this kid to kill himself. Yeah, crazy shit. Hey, um, y'all show you that showed you that with Disney, man. In them Disney movies, them old Disney movies, it's a bunch of uh, sexual shit in them Disney movies, man. Oh, yeah. yeah they do. All right. Uh, a bunch of weird, subliminal shit, man. So this place is going, if you, if you, if you don't, you know, if you don't walk in the right path in the right way, you're not going to fucking make it there, man. I'm telling you, because this place, there's so many shit set up to tear your ass apart. <laughs> it's so much, man. So much. Um, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right, so the prophets weren't out here with a love story every time, man. Every time the Lord was about to destroy a, a landmass, a great landmass of people or people in general, he sent his prophets to the person or to the people or to the landmass. Say, look, this place is going to be destroyed. If you don't repent, you're going to die. And anybody who repented and got right found favor in the Lord. Anybody who didn't ended up dying, man. All right? So the Lord, he speaks by the mouth of his prophets. So the whole time he might be speaking to someone, he might be prophesying to you, you treat him any type of way like he's just some random nigga, you being marked for death. You just you just really spoke like that to the Lord, man. There's a scripture that says, um, talks about when, um, when, when, when thou come before the Lord, set thy foot right or something like that. Set thy mind to right and constantly endure. Nah, that's not it. That that's one? something else. Oh, um, nah, talk about. Um, I know what I know what you're talking about. Again. Uh, pretty much talking about uh, before you make a sacrifice or pray to the Lord. Nah, it's pretty, pretty much like born into like it's somebody, somebody come up before us. Mm -hmm. They come up here and it, it tells them like, but well, you come set close up stand for the Lord. Be careful what you say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Put that foot in that mouth. Yeah, maybe. I think that, I this, is, this is it right here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, if you got God, the scripture talk about how you people will, 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 will beast on. themselves with us without fear, man. And that shows you the spirit of Jake, man. Jake, 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 Jake just get getting a he, he feelings and emotions and shit and go to spewing. Yeah, yeah, you got guys come up and say, uh, they'll come up and say that, um, start talking shit about the Bible, man. But remember the ball head nigga Tyrone? I was just thinking of that, man. I was just thinking of that. <laughs> and they don't realize that you, 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 you are fucking. Playing in a lion's mouth, man. You playing in a lion's mouth. I got it. Yeah, you, you got it. Yes, oh, Ecclesiastes. I knew it had been Ecclesiastes. Five and one. It says, "Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools." So when you, when, 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 when you come before the, the men of the Lord, man, you pose a hey, put your foot in your mouth. Let me run. Let me just run in your fucking mouth trying to teach us about your philosophies and shit. We don't care about it. We already know about Christianity, man. <laughs> We know we don't heard all about it. Trust and believe. We are here to teach, not to, to 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 be taught. You see, bring that back. It says, "Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High, mm -hmm. and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools." The sacrifice of fools is you just running your fucking mouth, man. You, you got you got guys that you know. And uh, the, the greatest example we have right now is um, uh, one body in our shot, man. <laughs> that guy just runs his fucking mouth. Whole body. You know, he all he all he he, 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 he just talking. He just talking. Don't realize what the fuck he's saying. All of it is, is off, man. They said John the Baptist not in the truth. They said Yahweh didn't do miracles. They saying that the, 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 the chariots ain't real. Damn near everything. They don't they don't believe in the, the everything. Bible. And literally every, <laughs> everything that the Lord established from the beginning, <laughs> they just went and did the exact opposite, man. Mm -hmm. All right. The only thing that they kept is that we already Israelites. Yeah. That's all they know. But it says, for they consider not that they do evil. Mm. Be they, not. They don't, that's like it. they don't know that they're doing evil, man. They have no idea that what you're doing is going to get your ass put to death. Mm -hmm. You have no idea. And this is why, I just, hey, you're really supposed to be walking on eggshells when you're in this truth, man. You know, you're supposed to be a, 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 in a certain spirit, man. And yeah. Because it, the Lord can judge your ass for some shit. And you, you, might, you might think you're doing the right thing. But the whole time it's the wrong thing. And the Lord can do away with your ass, man. It says, be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. Mm -hmm. For the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. That's right. Um, yeah, man. So, come, hold on to that. Um, Ecclesiastes 5 and 2. That, that, just, that just shows you the, the importance of serving your whole body, your shot with fear, man. All right, with fear. But, um, go ahead, brother. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently, 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 
in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, right, which I have seeing, told thee. You start seeing the visions come to pass, all right? Go ahead, read it again. I'll like, 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 they're telling you now. Yeah, that's too much, too much. You're about to lose your fucking job. They're telling you that you're not going to be able to go into these stores and buy and sell without it. Right. They're, telling, they're literally telling you this shit. They, they're coming on, on the news, you know, with a damn suit and towel, and, and, and they're telling you all this shit, man. The same shit that we've been telling you with these scriptures. Uh, okay? Yeah. It's only getting worse. It ain't going to get no fucking better. You got motherfuckers that's already folded and they just talking right now. How much more will they start acting? Hey, because most of these people, they don't know the signs to look for because they never opened the, 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 the Bible a day in their life. And they don't care to. They, and they don't, they don't even care to. So the, when the scriptures say, when thou see is part of the signs past, the only ones that are going to see the signs are the ones that open the Bible. That's right. You know, if you're not opening the That's Bible, right. you don't see the signs. You don't know what the you hell you're looking for. You don't see shit. You don't know what's going on. Right. You see industry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You see industry, baby. Go ahead, brother. Hey, hold on. Was that on that? No, yeah. go ahead. Read it one more time. Read it from the top. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Yep, and the Bible is the measuring stick. Okay, the Bible is the measure, uh, the, the ruler, so to say. Okay, the spiritual ruler. Go ahead. And when thou seest part of the sign past, which I have told thee before. And what? We see signs in the heavens. We see the, we see everything. <laughs> we literally see all the prophecies. We see the stage being set. All right? So we see that everything is happening that was written aforetime is coming to pass now. Go ahead. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. But if you don't understand, you're not going to understand that the Lord is about to return. Uh, you're not going to understand that the Lord is visiting this uh, place. You're just going to think about, oh, it's just, uh, you know, science. Well, motherfuckers think it's going to go back to normal. Right. <laughs> it's really yeah. going back to normal. You got people on this earth that still to this fucking day thinking that this is all going to blow over. Yeah, you keep going. Man, you're going you gonna, you, you gonna to be able to go back and, you know, not to wear it. They told, they told you if, you if you got the damn shit. He ain't even got to wear the mask. What happened? You still wear the fucking mask. <laughs> yeah. Double me, mask. I was I, I had to go to the bank uh, damn yesterday, man. And they said it had a, a big ass sign outside. It says mask required even if you are veed. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, oh, you've been lied to, man. <laughs> <laughs> just you like don't when, got bamboo. Yeah, that's sign. They just like when they movie. said, "Oh, all you had to do was get that thing, or or yeah. or, or, or or just get one." Yeah. Now you got to get three and boosters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all trusting in the fucking devil, man. Yeah. Right. The devil is not gonna be a man of his word. He ain't gonna sit there. Hold. Nah, his his job is to deceive and deceive some more. And if you motherfuckers that take that shit, your ass been been deceived, man. Mm -hmm. You done been deceived. And that right there shows us that's the end of no. If a motherfucker got that shit, the Lord ain't dealing with that person, man. That, that that's a clear, clear, clear example. If somebody wanted to took that shit, the Lord ain't dealing with you, ain't dealing with you man. He calls you to go take that shit hey. so he can destroy your ass. That, man. What's crazy is, man. Uh, I had a uh, friend, you know, I knew this dude for a, a minute now, but uh, he's like around my age, and he was like, uh, his mom, his mom took him over there to the place to get beat up, man. And he didn't see, she didn't tell him nothing or nothing, man. She didn't say anything. She didn't tell him nothing. She just took him. She drove him there to the to the place and got him beat up without him without any of his uh, confirmation, man. So he got that shit and he couldn't do nothing about it, man. Yeah, you know, and that, that's, that's that's the crazy part, man. You know, get off me, bitch. <laughs> But a fight for your life, my hey, man. You, you, <laughs> hey, you was pissed about it too, man. But it, it, it's all of the Lord. That's the thing. You yep, gotta think yep, about yep, it, man. Yep, it's all God. of the Lord, man. God. The Lord, if it's destined for you to get that thing, it's destined for you to get that thing, man. Good, man. Hey, hey, hey! Just like that, um, that, that mark, man. Dumb. That's the Lord's mark, man. I got no if you hey. get it, the Lord made you get it. Yeah, hey, and that's that's the power of the Lord. And the thing is, mostly all these people out here. If you're not in the truth, if you're not one of the elect, I'll say you are a hypocrite, man. Okay. Go ahead and grab that scripture. This is Matthew 16 and 3. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today. Go ahead, start up a verse. This is Matthew 16 and 2. It says, He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today. Yep. So, you, you know, you got Jake that'll wake up and they see the rain clouds and say, Yeah, it's going to rain. It's going to rain today. You know, I see the signs. I see the signs. I see it's, it's going to rain. Go ahead. For the sky is red and lowering, O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, 
but can ye not discern the signs of the times? You can't discern the time, the times we living in. You can look at the sky and say, "Look, it's about to rain." Wow! But then everything around you, you got all hell breaking loose around you. You have no idea what time you in though. That goes to show you that the Lord has taken a spirit from these people, man. All right. Yeah, go ahead, up. Oh, it's uh, like an average spirit. It's lucky, y'all. But the Lord, you can't choose to walk in this truth, man. The Lord has to choose you, man. Yeah. So if this dude's out there, they can't see these prophecies, that's, it's not <laughs> of them to see it, man. Yeah. You know, that's just, that's just yeah, the, how it is, man. Yeah. You go ahead and get that for The Lord blinded their ass, man, oh. for their own destruction. And it's really out of their control. Yeah. You see, that's why we can't make somebody get this thing, man. See, you get it or you don't get it. Uh -huh. You got guys that, that, would, that would try to give it to them. And they can't get it, and, and, and they are, like, it, it, it's a fucking, that it's our luck that they can't get it. No, oh, it's, it's your luck that you can't get it, man. It means the Lord don't want you. Yeah, you I know? mean, here it is. We're in 2021. This damn devil has a technology to be able to implant you with a, a biochip, oh. and you still have no idea what times you're living in. You read the book of Revelation, it tells you no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Mm. It's common. It, it's literally a, a sign, but oh. Jake cannot see the sign. And it's to the point now where we even got signs out here. You can hold it to a Jake face. You hey, see let me it? tell you something. And man. they don't get it. Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> if you can't see what the fuck is going on, you're dead already. You're dead already. You're dead already, man. I, I posted a video the other day of a man speaking about some documents that he received. I believe he was from Jamaica. And he was saying how, <laughs> which we've been telling you, the Project Blue Beam shit, they have bioweapons. They have some shit that can. Put a, that, that can literally, you can, you, you, you gonna hear voices in your head, man. Yep. You gonna hear some shit in your head telling you to go take that shit. To, 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 to don't worry about it, this and that third. And people are going to, to give heed, man. They got some shit coming, man. That's why we tell you, brothers, hey, man, get on, get, get with the program. Because they got some fucking shit coming. This man got some technology you uh, can't even fucking wrap your mind around. Hey. He gonna get you before he even fucking got you, type shit. Like, yeah. That's that. That's how this devil's coming, man. So, so we, we we giving you these warnings and these shows and giving you these heads up. But at the end of the day, when this devil come with this fucking ref, we're not gonna be nowhere near around to fucking tell you I told you so. Yeah. It's gonna be your ass, man. You gonna be out here fucking bugging the fuck out, voices telling you to throw your head into a fucking wall. That's Bro. gonna be you. Hey man, look look at the uh, the, the, the Delgado bull experiment, man. You know when they uh they open up the bull's skull and they put one, Esau put one of his devices in that bull's skull. <laughs> <laughs> they put one of his devices in that bull skull, man, you know, and they, they basically tipped the bull to where he got routed up and stuff, and then they clicked the button to put that bull to sleep, man. You know, hey, man, that's what these devils, you know, building up for, you know, to, with that. Well, 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 that's why they want to put, put, put that, that chip in your brain. Man. And they showed you that shit in many movies and many shows and many cartoons, how that shit is going to control you. Fifth wave. Yeah, for, for, Fifth for. wave. Um, the Kingsman. The, 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 the King's Man, the Flex Fighters. Hey, man, they're going to be able to control you with that shit, man. They're going to be able to uh, tell you to go after these Total prophets, control. Man. Total control. <laughs> they're going to control you to go after us, man. The sale. The sale movie. That's crazy. Hey, I got to um, preach up real quick. This is um, um going into what we were talking about that, 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 that MOTB. It says, it's a Sirach 27, verse 1. Many have sent for a small matter. <laughs> Fuck. Damn, boy. Read it again. Shit. <laughs> Shit, boy. Shit. That's these guys that done took that thing, man. Many have sent for a small matter. Oh the matter ain't even got big yet, man. It's still a small <laughs> matter. Damn. You still got your job. You still got your house, your car. <laughs> And he that seeketh for abundance will turn away his eye, will turn his eyes away. Damn. So those that's trying to get, you know, abundance Damn, in, in, on this side. It says, as a nail sticketh between, that's like, as a nail sticketh fast between the joining of the stones, so doth sin stick close between buying and selling. Damn. Bruh, I ain't even gonna lie. I had these guys at uh, Nyquam and uh, what, what was it? These guys said, see, the mark of the beast is sin. The mark of the beast is sin. They take this scripture, read it again, read it again. And if you're a simple ass nigga, you're going to fall for this shit. Go ahead, read it again. As a nail sticketh fast between the joining of the stone, so doth sin stick close between buying and selling. Oh, the mark of the beast is sin. That's not, that's not what it's saying. Okay? Look, it, 
Uh, these get, we're coming into a time where the market of beasts is about to be made. Let me, let me uh, re finish this Con. last part. Unless a man hold himself diligently Beautiful. in the fear of the Lord, mm. his house shall soon be overthrown. That's the same, that's the same scripture, right? Yes, yeah. So if, if you don't, pretty much, if you don't trust the Lord, you're going to be overthrown. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, if you, uh, 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 what is it? Take the MOTB or, or even this thing, it means you didn't trust the Lord, man. Yeah. So you pretty much, like the brother said, you dead already, man. Yeah. Hey, and what that scripture was saying was that, I'm going to bring it back. Because that this is why when you read the, that, 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 that Revelation 13, it says that you won't be able to buy or sell. Mm -hmm. As a nail sticketh fast between the joining of the stone, so doth sin stick close between buying and selling. So, meaning that in order to buy and sell the times we're coming into, yeah. you're going to have to go off the sin. You're going to have to go off, man. What is you're going yeah. to have to give in to this devil. And even nowadays, you know. If a motherfucker want to eat, a motherfucker want to be able to buy and sell or sell, they, you know, a lot, a lot of motherfuckers be, be committing sins, man. Yeah. You know, stealing, killing, whatever you got to do to, 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 to get to, 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 to eat and, and shit, man. A motherfucker would do any and everything to get something to eat, you know, to, 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 to establish themselves. And we come into that time where they're going to tell you, you cannot buy and sell unless you have that thing. So what people going to start doing? They're going to start taking what they want, man, which is sin. They're going to start killing people, eating each other. <laughs> And that, that shows you, because everybody got to buy and sell. You want to eat, you want to live, you want to work, this thing third, you have to buy and sell. So that's going to be the, 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 the drawing point for everybody. If you, when you, can, you can't buy and sell, these motherfuckers going to start acting up, man. Okay? And you're gonna, you're either, either going to act up towards going to go get that shit and just giving in, or act up to become a complete total demon and just taking what they want. And e e e either way it go, we're going to have to be in the middle of all that. All that shit. Can you imagine? Uh, Motherfuckers eating each other over here. Hey, you ever, you ever grew up? <laughs> you ever grew up in, you know, Jake, uh, you know, be growing, growing up in a Jake household, man. You know how it be. You know, mama ain't got no groceries for the house style, you know, for a while. And y'all see the last pack of noodles, you know, you see how Jake, <laughs> Jake get ready to rumble, boy. <laughs> it was you a know? video a while ago with Jake. Jake, uh, <laughs> A big chubby Jake, man. His yeah, ass, yeah, yeah. I guess his brother ate his noodles. That nigga was heated by the oh, head, yeah, man. God. He said, leave my fucking noodles, man. God. And that's you gonna be out here, man. When you hungry, you ain't eight in fucking days, man. Hey, ain't nobody, ain't nobody doing no milk crate challenges when you ain't eight, when you ain't eight in a fucking week. Right. Yeah, motherfuckers gonna call me milk, uh, 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 fucking crate, <laughs> fucking stacking up bodies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they gonna be fucking climbing on bodies, man. Yeah. That's what's about to be going on out here, man. It's about to get well, real like fucking ugly. And it's art, and the time we're supposed to be right now, while we eat this whole day of this day of atonement, we're supposed to be serious, man. This is the time to be, hey, man, to hell with all that other bullshit they got going on. Come on. Uh, I got I got I got I got I gotta polish up the spirit, polish up the spirit, polish up the spirit, man. Because <clears throat> at the end of the day, when 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 push comes to shove, that's it. There is no going back. There, 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 there will be no fucking turning around and we, everything back to normal again in America? No, America's finished, man. America yes. has a great judgment to be to, 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 to have to go through, man. And that's gonna be what? Death and destruction, man. Nah. Great up. death and destruction is coming upon this place. What y'all got? Uh, Sirach so chapter 29, verse 11. Lay up thy treasures according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Yeah, because the commandment's gonna lead you to life. It's a guideline on, on how to live. You know, the, the law, statutes, and commandments are, that the Lord established promotes life. And not only just life, to, to the point of everlasting life. Uh, to the point that if you keep these laws to the T, which we know we can't right now, but if you did, it would lead you to everlasting life. You wouldn't die. Right, exactly. Because the laws promote life. Like, for instance, one of the laws that is, you ain't supposed to be a mo out here. Okay, because that does not promote life. That's death. You can't bring life into the world with a man and a man or a woman so, and a woman. All right. You know, I had some. I had a woman. I told, and that should have had you look, look, looking like this guy. Playing the camera, playing the camera. That's not life, man. <laughs> not life. I didn't had a woman. I, I didn't brought the thing about about a woman's not supposed to be with a woman. Told this woman that, and she said, and I told her like you, you don't bring life into the world. She said, well, yeah, you can adopt. You can adopt. Oh How stupid can you be? I had a dumb bitch tell me the same type How thing. How stupid can you be? I told her, I said, I, I, I said, you know what I did? I said, blocked. Yeah. Bitch. I had a bitch tell me, I told her, I said, I said, listen, a woman cannot bring life into this earth without a man. She said, oh, well, 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 we, 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 we uh, you know, we carry the baby. I said, yes, but without a man, you can't do that. 
Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can. They, 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 they have science that, now. You that put a sperm in you. That bitch said they got sperm. I said, yes, but that sperm came from a like, man. Wow. That's what I just saying. The lady, the, the girl. Because she's trying to tell me that she, that, that she don't need a that Women don't need men to have a baby. Yes, you do, because the man carried the sperm. But yeah, but they asked me. Well, the man, that's, that's that, that sperm baked, the man put that sperm in there. So you need a man. But these women are so fucking through in their head that they think that they, 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 they just can do everything on their own. They, they got it all figured out. They, they, don't need, no, they don't need shit. And you women are going to come, we coming to a point where you women going to realize the exact opposite, man. And y'all women really going to get it the worst, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, hey, Jake going to get it bad, but you women got it terrible. That's why, hey, you know what? Have your fucking fun. Because hey, your time is coming to an end, man. Eve, Eve's time, Eve, Eve's little hoorah that she had with Esau is coming to an end. And they see it. They see it as the days go on. I know you brothers know this. <coughs> Jake women are, are, are starting to realize, man. They'll hold their hood. I had a Jake woman come in bad as hell with this Edomite dude, and she was just there looking at me like she knew she fucked up. <laughs> she knew she messed up. They know. And they, they know. And we're coming into a time where it's going to be evident, and then they're going to try to come and, and grab onto a real king, and they're going to get the what? The stiff arm to the face. Might get put to death. Yeah, might get put to death. Pretty soft. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was it on that, brother? Yeah, come on. I got a scripture like it unto yours. Uh, this is First Joshua, or well, the book of Joshua, chapter 1, uh, verse, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So meditating on these scriptures, man, is a, it's a part of, uh, you know, that, that growth of, of, of you know, prospering, man. Yes, you know? it's guidance. Yep. These people out here, they have no sense of guidance. They don't, they don't know what the hell to do, what not to do. They put light for darkness and darkness for light. When you come to the truth, you come to the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh the Lord has already established right from wrong from the foundation of the earth. Uh, now you just got to read and learn upon it. And then, you know, rehearse the righteous acts as the times go on. We were, hey, brothers, we were born in slavery. We were born in Mystery Babylon, man. So, you know, there's things that we're just not going to get right here, man. Uh, and it, that, that's just, that sucks, but that's what the Lord did to us. That's, you know, that's why Paul had this thorn in his flesh. Mm. Thorn in his flesh, thorn in his flesh. You constantly get a, a thorn in your flesh to remind you that you need the Lord, man. You need the Lord. That's right. That's right. Yeah, hey, it. and, you know, when you really go into it, man, um, you know, us being here in the first place was to, uh, to, uh, to it, it, it was a punishment, man. We, we are here for a punishment. We're not here to, to, to find peace and love and prosperity. You know, we're here to be punished, to be vexed, so that we can seek the Lord and get the fuck up out of here. You got Jake, you got Jake on a damn slave ship <laughs> trying to pop bottles and shit. What is wrong with you? You are on a slave ship trying to pop bottles. No. We're in a time now of great mourning, man. Trying to find comfort in slavery and shit. Right, what is wrong with y'all? That's, 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 that's how you stand in slavery, nigga. Mm -hmm. so, you see, and a lot of people, man, I was watching this, uh, I was watching this guy Kevin Samuel the other day, and he had this woman come on there. She was a man, uh, 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 what's she saying, bus driver. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw yeah, that one. <laughs> He's bro. stupid. And then he asked, he said, he said, he, he, he said ma'am, do you believe in, are you, are you a Christian? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in I believe in God, but you know, I'm not a Christian. Why? He said, why? He said, because I don't follow as I'm supposed to. Yeah, yeah, he said, no he discipline. Said, he said, man, you have no discipline. Like, why would anybody want to deal with you? Why would anybody want to even be around you? You have no discipline. You just do whatever you want. She said, she, 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 he asked me, he said, um, out of all the men you two dated, if they, if, they, if they said something about you, what would they say? I got an attitude. A little bit of attitude. A little bit of attitude. And, 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 and a foul mouth. He said, he, he, she said, that's it. He said, that's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> like, that's a fucking lot. That's enough. Okay. To, yeah, exactly. And that shows you these people, they have no discipline. They just don't know what the fuck they want to do. They, they, they're living in complete ob ob oblivion. <laughs> and then, which is why the more the majority they ask, they're going to have to die, man. Yeah, now we, we, you take what we, what the brother just said about the people, it's twice as much for these fucking women. Because yes. they are way behind. Yes. The Lord has not, listen, the Lord has not imputed to them understanding. The Lord actually imputed to us understanding, so we have a sense of understanding things. These women have no idea. So they are literally out here on their own right now, and it's gonna come to the point where their salvation is gonna come through a man, oh my gosh. and they're gonna, their whole reality is gonna shift. I can't wait. And it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Go yeah, ahead. Man, cause, cause oh, what, cause, hey, this world we're living in right now, 
or, or was living in, has been a woman's world, man. The woman has been in power and in, 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 what the fuck is it? They got a royal competition going on? But the, this, this, this world has benefited to, to, to the woman, man. Well, the kingdom of heaven is going to be beneficial to the man and righteousness, man. You know, this earth is going to be put in its righteous state, in its righteous place it's supposed to be in. Bro, some people try to say, oh, no, this is a man's world. If it's a man's <coughs> world, there would not be no OnlyFans, no prostitutes, no whoredom, no none of that. This ain't no man's world. Child support. Child support. That's another good one. Uh, uh, um, um, alimony and shit. Hey, in this world, your woman can fucking cheat on you in your bed with your kids in the house. You fucking decide you want to divorce her. She's taking all your money, keep the house, keep the kids, everything. And taking part of your fucking check every time you get paid. This is And she won't even sign the papers. Yeah, and she has sign papers. So this is this is a woman's world, man. Imagine that. Imagine you coming home to another nigga railing your wife and she won't even sign the divorce papers. And if I'm stuck with the bitch. You know if you own section eight, the man cannot live in a household. Yeah. You yeah, yep. Yeah. If you own section eight, the man can't be in the household yet. So so if say say a woman go get section eight from the government. Kick the man out. Now, now, now you can't raise your own kids, man. I even heard I even heard that uh you know a uh, woman be signing men's names on the baby birth certificate. Oh, yeah. so you, that they don't, so you get child support. That's so they can get child support. What kind of wicked shit is that? That's wicked as shit. I don't saw, even I, know the man. Just put it put the jot his whole name down. Hey, I saw I saw um a video of a guy showing his checks, man. The man the man was doing the video and this kid was in the in the video with him. He showing his checks and he getting paid child support. The man taking care of his kids. The kids is out the kid uh, is in the video with him. You can hear you can hear the kids in the background, but he's showing his checks. Thousand dollar check, he can't pay two hundred fucking dollars, bro. Two hundred fucking dollars out of a thousand dollar check. You know how much fucking. Bro, that almost and that's, and that shows you that you women will have held up. A lot of these men are gonna be fucking bloodthirsty for you women, man. They're gonna be bloodthirsty for you women, and it ain't gonna be no mercy for your ass, man. I had a coworker like that, man. When I used to work at Asphalt, he had he had like six kids. He was uh, paying child support for like four. I'm talking about like eight hundred dollar checks, man. But only bringing home like hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my gosh, bro! My you can't God. even live off that. Hundred and fifty dollars, yeah. bro. That's groceries. That's your gas in your car. That's probably your phone bill if you Not got a even. cheap phone. And then she's still getting, you know what I'm saying? She's still getting benefits from the government, man. Exactly. Still getting like, benefits from probably getting all the money for the hey, food stamps. You know, hey, and they and, and, and you know what the worst and, part and is? She's still fucking other nigga. Hey, 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 Oh my God, you God. can't make this shit up, boy. Hey, and not even that. You know what the uh, uh, even worst part about it? These bitches don't even be satisfied with that money, man. For oh, real. Man. They, they get all that money and be like, act like they ain't got no, shit. You know what they do? They go spend it on pleasure. That's yeah. what the scripture yeah. says. She that lives in pleasure dude. is dead while she lives. That's why you yeah. don't give a bitch no money, man. Because the bitch will take your money and she gonna do some stupid ass shit like go pay $400, $500 to get her hair done Jeez. for a week. For, for a week, week. Right. Right. a week. This bitch ain't even working. But she look at you, hey, baby, can I have some money? Can I have some money? And no. she don't appreciate it. She, she want money to get her nails done. Some fucking plastic vanity, man. Hey, Women it, love vanity. Yeah, and they don't ever appreciate it. Ever. Okay. Even if they tell you they appreciate it, they don't really appreciate it. Uh, if I may add something, um, there was a post that came out just recently about this woman talking to her FBI Asian friend, and he was saying there's a play going on of uh, men under 30 hiring men to kill their, their women or their wives oh because of child support. So that yeah, child support money is really taking a toll on these men. Now they're sending people out to you to take their lives away and you're looking stupid. And then people talking about, well, that's sad. I mean, these bitches are trying to take control of your life, man. What'd you expect? Exactly. Even these horrible, man. Hey, man. Hey, man, these women make your, uh, your life horrible, man. These women make your life a living hell, man. Let me get that scripture real quick. Yeah, appreciate that. Hey, don't be surprised when your woman take your kids from the damn thing. Stick them, wait. Stick them. The damn hey, Really don't be surprised, brother. Yeah. Don't yeah. be, don't be the guy that says, I got a Sarah though, brother. Trust me, she's the one. Yeah, we going all the way. Nine times out of ten, y'all ain't going all the way. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. Now there's chances you, you you go, you make it into the promised land with your little baby and your oh, wife, mate, Lord willing. Because his brother's families will be delivered. But remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. That's it. Boom. Remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. Let me get this priest up. This is a rock chapter 25 and verse 16. It says, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to than keep, a, keep house with a wicked woman. Hey, because these, these women, they make your life horrible, man. They make your life a living hell, man. So you, uh, it's saying that uh, I would rather live with a beast 
a, a, a lion and a dragon than to keep a house with a woman, man. Sure. All right, because Wicked hey, woman. hey, man, you, you know, those that woman could get your ass killed, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that man. woman can bring so much more affliction than you already getting. Get hey, niggas die. Niggas die behind women all, every day. Die every day, man. We just lost five real niggas right now. This. Behind a, behind some bro. Oh, some bitch. <laughs> she out here you still can, hopping. Hey man, you, you can you can tame a lion and a dragon. Still hopping, boy. Lost five real niggas, man. <laughs> For real, that guy pre up. Cause Jake, well that's the thing. Jake, oh, before you man. come into the truth, you're not a man. You don't know how to deal with women. Come on. Boys don't look. If you are not in the truth and you are not a man of your help, Bashim Yashai, you do not know how to deal with women. Nice and even brothers this, within man. the truth oh. still don't know how to deal with women. Yeah, I remember. Just to add on, I remember when he told me, when he brought that out, I didn't really meditate on that until I seen other people fucking just vex with this shit. I'm like, man, I'm really blessed to have this truth because I know how to be a man, know how to afford with these women. These right. other these other men, I tell them what to do, they just fucking simping and folding backwards, man. Yeah, right. and, then, and then the scriptures say, marvel not if she trespass against you. You got a brother that's not built up. A woman's done trespass against you and you... Talking about killing yourself this and niggas, shit. This niggas doing that. Niggas that had killed themselves behind some harlots, man. Yeah. The, 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 amen. Little bitch, loaded, right? That's his name. The yeah, bitch smell like the bitch smell like a damn tuna melt. <laughs> 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 And then hey, you go kill yourself. Other guys oh, hey, I got seafood. For real, on top of that, you go kill someone. This you got your fucking mind, man. I got pre-sub. Hold on, let me get this real quick. This oh. is um, Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse twenty-five. I applied my heart, mind, to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things, and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. <laughs> And I found more bitter than death the woman. What? Whose heart, mind is snares hey, and nets. Hey, hey man, a, a woman will make you want to kill yourself, man. If you put all your heart, your, your love into a For woman, real. man, she make you want to kill yourself. Like the rapper Lil Loaded. Yeah, man. suicidal thoughts. You know, that, that's why it says I'll, I would rather be. Suicidal. <laughs> well, suicidal. That nigga, that nigga <laughs> Melly said it his damn self. He said little suicidal. suicidal. Yeah. Suicidal. Yeah. Yeah. Suicidal. Yeah. suicidal. Yeah. suicidal. Yeah. Bitch, if a bitch loves suicidal, man, then she got your ass, boy. Got your ass, for real. It says, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bad. Because that's really all she here to do is trap you up. That's it. That's really all the woman here right now for to do. You get your little thing off and to, uh, set you up for failure. Not only that, man, you got to hear But if, as soon as you start to follow after the woman, you lost. As soon as you give the woman 1%, you gave 100%. Yeah, come on. A woman's supposed to have 0%. She's supposed to you command her what and where to go, what to do, what not to do. If she don't do it, she ain't for you. Because the scriptures say when you get a wife, you begin a possession. All right? This is, where is my, uh, give me that bag real quick. This is my bag, right? It's my possession, okay? I own this bag. A wife is a possession. When you get a wife, this is a possession. I can do whatever the fuck I want with this bag. I can throw it in the water. I can dry it. I can do whatever the fuck I want. But... Women don't understand that. And if you're not a man of the Lord, you're not going to understand that. When you look at a woman, that's how you smoke. Possession. That's it. They're a possession. Oh. Now, obviously, you treat them with a, 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 a sense of a morality of how to deal with them according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, but... You ain't going to throw them in the water. Yeah, exactly. You ain't going to throw them in the water. <laughs> but but that's, that's your possession. That's your possession. And the point and, is... And, 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 and really, if the bitch trespassed against you, you can. You exactly. know, going back to the law. If, if, hey, man... Just take her out, sport, get stoned to death, man. You know? Hey, man, these, these Nowadays, a, 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 a bitch will go off and run, run, run off on you and then try to come back to you like she, like hey, she, ain't, like she ain't dead shit. Hey, I saw a video two days ago showing this brother. We're pretty much, uh, it's a lot. I'm running out of breath or something. Hey, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, a video where this wife, this guy's wife had cheated on him or whatever. You see this man come st storming in the fucking oh, yeah. store and you just start stabbing the bitch to death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. No questions asked. And oh, guess what? Oh, 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 so she said that she wanted a, a divorce. She wanted a divorce. Oh, yeah. Even even worse. So she wanted, she, she just wanted a divorce. Why? So she can go be with another nigga. Yeah. But the dude went in there and stabbed her to death. That was a righteous act. The Lord done set that man. 
You can't just get a, a woman that wants to get a wife or get a husband and just wants to upright and leave. That's crazy. You, you, you better off dead. You are better off dead because you're going to do that to the next nigga and the next nigga and the next nigga. Uh -huh. And then that's, and that's, that's called a whoredom in Israel, man. That's yeah. why a woman was never meant to, or, or allowed to get to divorce. Uh -huh. And even if you look at it now, the divorce rate is 80% women. Why? Because women can never be fucking happy, man. Yeah, and, and they got power. A man can take care of a woman all this time. Exactly, and that liberty. So wow. he, even if a man is in care of them, they still want to go out and have fun. It's all about fun for women, man. Hey, man, pleasure. Yeah, she that lift and pleasure is dead while she lives. If I can uh, say something, if I can add, it was this dude, man. You know, he was a football player. He's doing big dance, doing shit, man. Going out the damn out of state and shit, man. And he was taking his woman with her, man. You know, next thing you know, there's a video of her sucking meat in the bathroom at a party, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Getting down and dirty, man. man. That's why you don't want to take a bitch nowhere, man. Yeah, yeah, for you real. niggas take, get, 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 get a bitch hat like they, 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 you, you want a golden medal. No, you want to show her off and shit. You know how like Brady won the fucking the, 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 the damn so the, party? Uh, yeah, he won the trophy or whatever. He had a motherfucker everyone with him on the boat and shit. Niggas get a woman, they think, yeah, hey, <laughs> you want to go chill with your homies, but you got to bring your girl and shit. Like, what the fuck are you doing? That's like that, that's like that one video that, uh, they was on a boat and the girl was getting off of the boat to go oh, ride yeah, a jet yeah, ski yeah, with yeah, another dude. Yeah, yeah. And the dude was sitting there like he was fit a crowd. Yeah, that's, that's, why, that's why he should have went alone. Yeah. Kept yeah. her ass at home. Exactly. Uh -huh. no, hey, I ain't never taking no bitch out of no jet ski or no damn boats, man. What up? You, I, I ain't taking bitches to the beach, man. Why you take a bitch to the beach? Real, I ain't taking bitches at. nowhere. Let's all the holes in. Hold on, finish yourself. These women are making these men their possessions, man. Yeah. It's yeah. turn, it's a thousand percent. Hey, sure, let's talk about how, how they have become servants. Uh, they have been uh, they have been reduced to a piece of bread. And it also tells you oh, how yeah. many have become servants for their for sakes. For the yeah. women's sakes. Yeah. 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 Right, so these, these, um, most, these guys out here bending over backwards for the woman is supposed to be the uh, the other way around. Yeah. 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 Like, says, uh, hey, in ancient times, you had a woman, and your woman loved you. She gonna bring you another woman. Right. And that's that, and that was a righteous thing. Yeah, look at this, look at this. Oh! Go ahead. Actually, you know what? You got a preset? Yeah, let me finish this up. It says, and I find more bitter than death the woman. The who? The woman. The who? The woman. The who? The woman. The who? The woman. I find more bitter than death the woman. Hey, hey, let me tell you something, man. When all hell break loose, the women that's thinking they men. <laughs> They're gonna be screaming and running to a real man in that day. I, I guarantee you, man. That's right! I guarantee you. Both of them. And you know what ain't gonna happen to both of them? They both gonna get rejected, man. Yeah. Gonna get rejected. We're we, 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 we gonna, we, we gonna let the troops have you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, it says, uh, Salak, Salak, Salak. Um, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleadeth the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall escape from her. Escape from her. But the sinner shall be taken by her. Yeah, the Ooh. sinner gonna be taken by her. So the Lord will literally set up, give you a baddie. Yeah, that's why you that's, just to destroy you. That's why you might get a baddie, man. Just, just to, to destroy, destroy hey, your man, ass, these moments can be made stumbling blocks until you in this truth, man. Absolutely. And like I said, if you if you do not and, know and, how to and, deal and, with them, and that's happened over and over, over and probably an infinite amount of times, man. Oh, Guys man. came into this truth, went and got on a woman, and lost their fucking mind. Now, oh, now they somewhere with old girl. We taking a break. Now they somewhere, <laughs> some, 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 somewhere with old girl, and you know she, 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 she they be coming in the truth for a minute. They, 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 they forsook the truth, and then she leave his ass for somebody else, man. So by the end, you, by the end, you ain't, you ain't even got the damn woman no, 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 no more. Uh, it says, um, "Behold, this have I found," saith the preacher. And let's talk about um, King Solomon, counting one by one to find one the account which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one. So this was a, a, a social experiment Solomon did, and Solomon knew more about women than any brother up here, <coughs> or any any brother that you can imagine. Period. Because he had a thousand women, okay, a thousand. He knew how to deal with them, okay. So he did a social experiment where he lined up a thousand women. And he wanted to see if he could find a righteous one. All right, go he ahead. He says, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found. So out of the thousand men that he lined up to see if there was any righteous, he found one. One righteous man out of a thousand. And that was back then. That was back then when men actually had some integrity, some, you know, knowledge. Damn. Imagine now. Shit. Nothing. That's what the Lord said. That's what the Lord said. Crickets, so boy. Ten left to a city. Ten left to the city, for real. <laughs> It says, um, uh, I, I, I have I, I, a thousand I, I have I found, 
but a woman among all those have I not found. So there's not one righteous, man. You know, and that's just that's just the reality of it. Hey, the woman is a weaker vessel, man. Yeah, and a woman's not going to necessarily be saved through uh, her righteousness as we are saved. Her righteousness is to the man. Like, okay, serve the man. Obedience to you. Yes, exactly. Just well, like us being obedient yeah, yeah. to the Lord, she has to be obedient to you. That's right. and if she can't do that, then that's it. That's she, gonna be on her. And that's really a lot of these women. A lot of these women they try to cut off the middle man, which is us, to just try to get to the Lord. And that's not that's not how it works. Or what they'll do is they'll fucking say they'll completely say fuck us and go deal with, deal with the so-called white man. <laughs> they think that's gonna save them. Yeah, that's what they so, do. <laughs> so even worse much religion. great death and oppression is coming to you, woman, man. Y'all gonna be in a, a world of fucking hurt, yeah. a world of hurt. And then what you gonna have to do is you gonna have to go to those same man you was shitting on for help. Damn, that boy. That's going to feel shitty, boy. That's going to feel shitty, boy. It's going to feel shitty. And we gonna, we, and trust me, we're going to make you feel, feel like shit. shit. I was just going to say, it's going to feel like even more shit when you, when you, you get, get denied. Right. <laughs> For real. Get out of my face. For real. You going to get mush somebody ass into the mud? Right. Right. That much force. Don't need the Heisman on your ass. Damn, you going to get mush. Don't need the Heisman on your ass. 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 Don't need what do they say? Yeah, men, when women have sex with who they want, men have sex with who they can. Right. Y'all yeah. <laughs> could just been out here fucking. <laughs> For real. Fucking. Oh. Well, guess what? Now your ass got to yay, hey, man. You, you got to pay. You got to pay for that shit, man. You know, it was a video that came out. <coughs> brother was going into it about how a woman who came to one of the men of the Lord, and she was asking the men of the Lord what, um, she told the men of the Lord what she did. That she had a husband. They had kids together, and she would go hang. She would go tell him that she hanging out with her friends, and the whole time she out here getting her back, her back beat in, and then her friends was was fucking covering for her, and so she felt bad. You know, she 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 eventually ended up telling the man what she did. He left her. She wanted her husband back. She felt bad and said, "Okay." I, um, she asked the men of the Lord. She said, "Okay, I just want to know what's going to happen to me for what I did." She she knew she was wrong. She said, "What's going to happen for what I did?" And he told her, "You you, you going to get put to death." In, a, in, in the worst way, and really, the, the bitches that her friends out that, that, that was that was, that was pr promoting that shit and, and, and helping her do that shit, they're going to put a death too, man. A lot of you women are going to fucking die a horrible death, and we, when, we, when we see you, you, you are not going to be, be safe. And you know nothing too. A lot of you men that's trying to be super safe, captain save a hoe for these bitches when they get put to death, you're going to die too. Yeah. I did a video on that. It was, it was these women walking down the street. With purses in their hand, and some Jake's pulled up and tried to rob them and brought they like for their purses. And you had some random two fucking sip Can't ass niggas them. tried to save them, yes. and they got fucking shot. They didn't die, but they got shot. Next time your ass gonna die, nigga. <laughs> she fighting over a purse. She fighting over a purse, bitch. And even after the motherfucker got shot, she's still fighting over this fucking purse. That's a that's that's that's, that's, very, that's nothing, man. You about to lose your life for fucking nothing over this bitch. You so we come into that time, man, where hey. Only the strong go survive, okay? Do you women that's been seeking your help, Hashem Yahshua that's been in this truth, getting getting yourself right, keep keep up with it. The Lord gonna bless you, man. All right, you men too, but everybody else are about to fucking die, okay? In the worst way, and we about to witness it, man. We ha we have to witness it. The Lord said, "Only with thine <coughs> eyes shall thou see the reward of the wicked." So we're gonna have to see these motherfuckers get destroyed, even up until being in that damn thermonuclear fire. <gasps> You're going to see every fabric of this place be destroyed, man. You know, and that's what we're here for. Lord, when we be that elect, you know, if we be that elect, man, we hoping and praying we get to see this place get 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 destroyed, man. Sooner, sooner than later, you know, to hell with, you know, <laughs> the way the, the, the America and the ways of this place, man. To hell with a job, to hell with a car, to hell with a house, to hell with all that shit, man. We're trying to get the hell up out of here, man. Our life does not start. Until we get to the kingdom of heaven. Until okay. America, right. America destroyed. For real. That's, I like the one start until America destroyed. That's you can it. say it like that. that. That's even better. Me destroyed, man. Please, what you got? Go ahead. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 25, verse 24. It says, Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. That's right. Read it again. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. <laughs> hey, guess what? As a woman... When you wake up, you gotta take the accountability of that. Understand that it was Eve, okay? Read it one more time, brother. Yeah, that was loud, Eve. real loud. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. 
So the reason why the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans went into slavery, a hardcore bondage, raped, robbed, and murdered is because of our women. That's right! They're siding with the enemies. Okay? Walk around with the devil. Walk around with the devil, siding with the one, the same one that put you in slavery. All right, and that's, and that's why a lot of these women gonna die. And they don't realize that, they don't realize that ultimately, when we put our, our hands on these fucking devils that put their hands on us, we're gonna put, we're gonna put our hands on, on their ass too, man. You oh, women yeah. got hell to pay. If you walk around, what's what the scripture says? If they, uh, um, if they be found together, they shall be thrust through. Yeah, cause like, you might have, you might have an Eve, right? All right, an Eve and an Esau. You go over there, you slay the fuck out of Esau, the Lord give you that power, you slay Esau, she's gonna be like, my king, my king, oh my God. Boom, hit her ass too. Yeah. Down the road, bitch. <laughs> Off with your weave. Yeah, like that, like, that's, that's, that's the reality, oh, bitch. Like, uh, for real, that, that's, that's the reality. That's, and that's gonna be a bitter reality for these women. Cause they can't see it right now. They, yep. they look at us like we ain't nothing but niggas. And you know what like, it is? We're about to raise this man up to be more than Yeah, and niggas. Really, really what it is, they getting a taste of their own medicine. I find more bitter than death to women, so you're gonna get a taste of what it is to be bitter. <laughs> uh, like uh, when they say, uh, who should pity a trauma so right. bitten by uh, a serpent? So I'm gonna right. grab it, grab it. Con. Because with that being, man, you're gonna have, you're gonna have, you know, uh, Eve, you know, thinking it's all cool and dandy now until she turn around and see it for her own damn self that, you know, Esau ass as a damn demon, not only the demon to everybody else, but her ass too. You know, for he gonna real. turn on her ass too. Hey, he's only using the ass for, for, for that frosty ass cooler. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> for the frosty ass cool cool. Just but, but, war, but, but 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 once that once 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 the time for that is over, hey, they done with your ass, man. Esau is using you dumb bitches up, man. And then y'all shitting on your own, Please man. And, 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 and the damn process of that, guess what, man? Hey, but you got hell to pay. I got this real quick. Sirach 12 and 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Mm. Or any such as come now, wild beast, right? If you out there playing with snakes and tigers and lions, I ain't gonna feel bad for you when you die. Uh -huh. Get ate, get poisoned. That's these women right now. Okay, women over there playing with a damn devil. Hey. Okay, and we ain't gonna feel bad when Esau done uh, blow your muffin cap back and you know, stabbing your dead body and shit. That's like, what? cause why? Cause you, uh, 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 you, you are that charmer that was bitten by the serpent, all right? And that was that was Eve. Uh, uh, Eve is nothing but Esau's lap dog, man. Yeah. All right. Come on, man. Cause hey, these these women think they got a good man, and to be honest, they do got a good until they find out it ain't gonna be good. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Cause you wanna until that independent uh uh what is it, smoky mirror get found out, man. Come on, man. You know we coming into a time where if you don't if you are a woman and you do not have a man of the Lord. You're not going to last. And, and, you're and, going to die. And you're going to watch that man that you with. It's not a man of the Lord. You're going to watch his ass die. Watch man. his ass die, yep. And they're going to die. That motherfucker's going to die. Yeah. yeah. If, 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 you, if you were the man here, man of the Lord, that motherfucker's going to die in front of you. Like, real it, talk. And really, these women going to come to find out that your last resort, that this man that was a man of the Lord was your last resort, was really your only resort. And you done yeah. fucked it up. Yeah. Uh, just like Bushwick. Yep, yep. Got killed, right? when he came out the subway, man. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not even five minutes into the movie. That nigga's row wasn't even five minutes into the movie. His ass got laid down. And then, <laughs> she, before he died, she, she told him to stop being a wuss. The nigga was a fucking wuss. He was a punk, man. And as you see, you got a lot of these men out here that's what's supposed to be men. They weak. They thinner. They bitches. That's why they come up here and they be like, but love. But love. love. Fuck love, nigga. We ain't in the time for love. It's time for war. Grow the fuck, grow time to be a man. Come on, mama's boy, you get enough love from mama. For real, uh, you know, some milk and cookies. Please, uh, Grown ass men out here talking about love and shit. What the, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell is there to love out here, man? Time yeah. and a place, Ecclesiastes three, my boy. I got a Go ahead. It's Michael two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Read it again. It says Michael two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right, so this this place known as America is not a spot to be comfortable, not to be a resting spot. You're not supposed to be at ease here. You ain't gonna find peace here. You ain't gonna find no peace here. Even if you try to find peace, you ain't gonna find it, man. So or, just, or you, 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 may, you may think you found temporary, it. Temporary, right? You may you may go get you a bad woman. Y'all got y'all have a kid and shit. Is that third? And then next thing you know, the demons start to come out of her. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and there, 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 there goes your peace, man. You know, and and and, and the woman is really supposed to be um, uh, how's it go? 
supposed to be your uh, pillar of rest. Pillar of rest. You're supposed right. to be a pillar of rest, man. Not a like, I saw a video of one of the brothers. Did. I thought, who is that? Who? I think it was Amuan Gabar. He, was, he made a great statement. He said how, um, you know, you woman, you know, if you want to be saved, you're supposed to be doing something, man. You got, think about it. You got men in the Lord out here that's making their own food, washing their own clothes. Right. <laughs> uh, the whole they nine, cleaning their clean own it. house. Oh, yeah. And they had doing, had doing this work too. So what the fuck are you doing? You think you're just gonna be saved off of being a woman? Nah. Looking good? No, you bitches gonna Probably get left out here, man. You're gonna get left out here. If you ain't doing something for this ministry, you're gonna get left the fuck out here. Okay? That's right. Believe that. Appreciate Believe that, man. And it says, uh, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you. It is polluted. Uh, literally, this place is polluted. Look at the water real quick. Uh, Find out the water. Black as hell. Look at the air. Everything's polluted. But even, even in the spirit. Yo, I had a dream, I believe. And it was like, okay, when we were talking about the chemtrails, mm -hmm. how the chemtrails was black and shit, oh, yeah. I had a dream, and them shits was like fucking all over the sky. Just black fucking yeah. lines all over the sky. Because they fucking putting shit in the air out here now, man. Yeah, that's and why brothers getting sick. Brothers man. getting sick. Brothers can't fucking smell or breathe and shit. Because, hey, this, this devil trying to fucking kill us, man. He trying to kill us. We ain't gonna find no peace out here, man. Hell no. This is why we need the Lord. This is why we do this thing. This is why we on fire for the Lord. Because we trying to get the hell up out of here, man. If the Lord didn't come soon, nobody would make it out of here, man. Everybody would be dead. No flesh would be saved, man. And it says, even with a sword destruction, and I have another precept to go with that. Even with a sword destruction, now you're gonna have people that take the uh, MOTB. And Revelation 16 tells you that they're gonna break out with um, grievous like swords, man. Yeah. So you you're going, gonna know who took the who took the thing, man. And when you, you going they going to turn into zombies, man. And when you go into that word sore, you know what I'm saying? It just pretty much, you know, straight to the point about <laughs> sicknesses, diseases, all right, distress, you know, hey, all kinds said, of things, they man. They, they, they let these damn um, these them these them Afghanis in here. And five of them, listen, man, this motherfucking place is through. They let these Afghanis over here. They don't even live here. Okay, they let them over here. They gave them, they gave them what over, over two two k a, a month. Okay, gave them a place to stay, and everything. And then no, five of them folks came over here with the measles. Sure. Uh, five came with the measles, man. Dang. They ain't, that, they ain't, that, they ain't quarantine them. They ain't check them. They ain't even testing them, man. They don't care. They don't care about that shit. They, 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 they they're trying to destroy this place, man. Yeah, they're trying a, to destroy this place. And that's another example of pollution, cause he saw don't give a damn, yeah, man. You know, he saw his, he he saw the, his the pollution. Oh, if he, he can pollute the, the air, the, this, he, he the cancer that walks amongst this earth, man. Yep. You know, that motherfucker is a pollution his damn self. Hey man, that's, uh, why, that's why it says, uh, when the righteous bear rule, the nation shall rejoice. Uh, when when the wicked bear rule, the people shall mourn. Yeah, yeah and the wicked bear rule, the people shall mourn. Hey man, people are mourning right now, man. Mm -hmm. look, look at this world, man. Just look around, man. Go, hey, on, go, go on social media anyway. Hey, even Edomites. Duh. We're in a time now, 20, 30 years ago, if you were a white man or a white woman, you were all right. She was now we're in a time where just because you got white skin, that don't mean shit no more. Yeah. All right? Now it's hard times for everybody. Well, because well, we, they got white skin, though, it, it, it's even more fucking judgment on their ass, Exactly. Man. They, exactly. Call, they call, call you motherfuckers Karens and shit. <laughs> they, start, they starting to put the curses, man. Oh, let's grab it. Let's grab the... They starting uh, to put the curses, man. Someone grab the scripture. They'll put the curse. Deuteronomy 32. I got these. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. 30 and 7. That's right. They starting to feel the curses, man. We, we starting to see these curses flip. You, you, oh. you, 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 you ride down the street, you're going to see a bunch of Edomites on the side of the road with, 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 with a damn cup in their hand. <laughs> or a damn sign. I'm going to say, need help. God, need, help. need help. God bless. God bless. <laughs> need help. Need help. God yeah, bless. You need a lot of help when we done with your ass, man. For real. And, and that shows you that, hey, man, this place is, hey, this place is through, man. Esau, he, he, he fucking his own people over, man. Yeah. How, 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 how did it show kingdom and you at the bottom of your own kingdom? A double loser, uh -huh. man. Double whammy. Scary. This is uh, the book of De Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, thy power, will put all these curses upon thy enemies. What curses? The curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, including going to slavery on slave ships. Mm -hmm. It's going to gonna happen to the enemies, too. And, and, there, and, and there's more curses. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's more curses than that. You know, shit that we went through that ain't even Deuteronomy 28, man. Right. Uh -huh. You know, Esau. Oh, <laughs> you know, pay for all that shit, shit man. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna be feeling that shit, man. And yeah. they already starting to feel it, man. Hey, like the byword. Hey, look. What, uh, one of the curses that came upon us was bywords and proverbs. Mm -hmm. Like the brother just said, now you who a white woman, you getting called a Karen. Mm -hmm. They hate that shit. They hate it. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff like that is gonna start happening more and more, more and more. These curses are gonna be more and more put on the uh, 
Esau, not only Esau, all the other nations, and, man. And, and they're dying in greater numbers than they've been born, man. And that's how, that's mentioned they in fucking, they, 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 They're overdosing off of drugs and shit. So, and then this devil turn around and making this shit legal, man. Right. Motherfuckers are, uh, are overdosing off of opioids and shit, and, and, and they are decriminalizing the drugs because motherfuckers are dying so fucking fast, and they don't want to lock them up and kill them. <laughs> These laws through, man. You know, they they have the, they're, they're they're dying in greater numbers than they're being born right now. God. Okay, and they, but but yet they say that we are the minority, yeah, right? <laughs> That's that witchcraft, man. Go ahead. Con, read, it it from the top. read it from the top. It says, uh, verse seven, and the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And boy, you cannot run from the curses, man. It's like we a black. It's like a black cloud don't follow you everywhere you went. Hey, Rod Wave said it bad. So I feel like a black cloud follow nigga everywhere you go. That's the curses. Dark that's cloud. that's that. That's the curses. You know the curses follow us everywhere we go, and they're about to follow the Edomites everywhere they go. Yeah. Go ahead. Con. Like you can't just wake up one day and shake the curses off. <laughs> you know that's just not how it works. You got to deal with it. And that's the reason why you got Jake out here that's trying to be a ball player, a rapper. Right, they're trying to shake him off. Because they try, they're trying to avoid the curses, man. Yeah. You know, and I, and I can attest for that. I, my damn self was the same way. When I was having this truth, I was trying to be this, that, and the third. And I'm trying, really trying to escape the curses. And the Lord had to show my ass, nah, nigga. Nah. Oh, man. You, you were cursed. You, you gonna gonna feel these curses. Yeah, you gonna feel these curses. And I had to, okay, okay. I, 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 I thought I was gonna go off and I wanna do what I wanna do. The Lord said, nah, you gonna eat these curses. I right, turn around and do what the Lord told me to do, man. And that's this is what's gonna get us all from these, these curses, man. Yeah. You know? This is gonna get us all from the curses. Because these Jake try to go become a millionaire to get one of the curses, and they still under the curse. You had they got a little baby who just found out that he paid four hundred thousand dollars for a fucking watch that's fake, man. Or you got uh, a good one, oh. another good one to show you that we still under the curses, Kanye oh, West. God. Kanye, Kanye West? Kanye West got a woman and another man gonna lie with her though. You got hey. all the bread, you got, you got two kids with her. Kanye and Drake having this big old beef now because Drake was, uh, what he said, uh, so I crept, crept down, down the block, the block. Hey. Uh, uh, made it all right. Uh, <laughs> he was going to Kanye's house, man. Sleep with kids, with that man woman. That's the fucking curses, man. Hey, it's funny because when you actually look up where Drake lived and where, where she lived, it's literally, it literally you got to creep down the block and make a right. And you're right there. But that shows you that they are still under the curses. Just because uh, uh, Ye got all that money, got all the music, got all that, it didn't, didn't keep his wife, did it? And then, and then they still got an answer to Esau. Yep. And our kingdom, we ain't still no fucking Esau, man. I was thinking about that shit, too, about imagine you go to, you pull, you, you pull up on the land of, of heathens. And, and you got women trying to talk to you, <laughs> like, like you know, how, like uh, you come up and you got you, and you supposed to talk to the uh, the person that the person that's supposed to come and talk to you. Imagine a woman trying to come up and talk to you, and they, and they don't put this woman in power. I'm gonna just fly up <laughs> and form a spirit bomb, <laughs> blow uh, that bitch to smithereens. Yeah. That's the time we're coming into, man. Uh. The men of the Lord gonna be on some whole, a whole other level, man. We ain't talking. We ain't fucking talking. Yeah, we ain't talking. Hey, because we did enough talking. <laughs> We've been here for so years and, and we years already don't fucking like y'all. We don't like y'all, bro. <laughs> so when the Lord raises men up with them powers, <laughs> ain't no more talking. The Lord's gonna have it to the scriptures say the Lord's gonna have it so where our tongues don't cleave to our mouth. Gonna see some shit? <laughs> Boom! Boom. I'm gonna blow that bitch up. That's it. No That's remorse. it, man. No that remorse. Shit. You know? Uh, so, the scripture says that he shall have no mercy that have not shown no mercy. mercy. And what's this right here? No fucking mercy. Is that mercy right there, man? Look, yeah. look at the babies, man. The babies in the alligators' mouth. Is that mercy? Not a, not a smidget, man. And it's sad, man. Jake forgot about this, man. Jake want to forget about it, man. Uh, and it's to the point now where Jake don't want to forgot about it for so long to the point they, they don't even care no more. Yeah. Jake don't even care. And that's why you're going to die. Hey, you know? hey, Esau has notice it's going to come upon him. His ass trying to even trying to forget it, boy. Real. He's trying to take it out of history of the books, and and, you, and he's goddamn programmed that school. These two-third niggas would, would allow them to, man. But these two-third two -third niggas would vote for that. And, and, and these devils, yeah, let's just forget about it. Man, these devils got a nerve to make movies out of it. Put it in your face, yeah. like 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 making mockery of you, man. You know what I'm saying? Showing you how much like. They like, 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 yeah, we did this to you. We telling you who we is. We showing you who we is, the wicked of the white man. But, but what you gonna do about it? Yeah. And Jake still, what they, they deserve to be okay. They deserve no man. Lord, destroy these motherfucking crackers, man. Well, that wasn't me. That was my. That wasn't me. I wasn't that here. Was my great, that was my great great grandfather. We gonna kill you for your great great what your great 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 grandfather did, bitch. Yep. That's hey, that's the best way to put it to him. Now they don't understand regeneration, yeah. anyways. Yeah. You gonna have to pay for that shit, bitch. Come on. Come on. I'm ready. For 
and not even up. a you know, and not even the southern kingdom, the northern kingdom with the Gadites and the Reuben. Man, look how how much hell they went through. They got their land took. They got their woman ravished. Man, that shit was straight slaughter, giving them diseases, and we had the healing. They didn't hey, have shit. That's why the scripture says Deuteronomy, chapter thirty, verse seven, and the Lord y'all washed outside thy power will put all these curses upon your enemies. That's right. Hey, who's, all our right? Enemy? who's our enemies, man? Where the, uh, saw where the, where the church? Oh, right there, beautiful. We got a lot of enemies, man. And niggas don't know that, man. Niggas don't know that you got enemies, man. How the fuck can you be here in Babylon, you got over here on a slave ship, and you think everybody love you? You think it's all about love. You niggas are fucking stupid, man. That's right. You know, able to love raise, raise us up, man? Hey, we hope we get to kill you some of you niggas too, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. hell with you niggas, man. Get out! Get with the program, fuck you, nigga. Right. That's real, man. That's right. We got all these fucking enemies, and a nigga will come up in here, look at us, and say, we the fucking enemy. Right. And these niggas, hey, bro, when that time come, I'm telling you, the Lord going let, let a spirit loose in this place, man. Uh, you gonna let a spirit loose in this place. Uh, hey, you hey, niggas, man, man, it's, we, we, hope, we hope these devils fucking devour you niggas, man. Stupid ass niggas. And you got grace. niggas trying, trying to defend Esau. We out here coming to. Well, all we doing is saying words against this fucking man. And then look at this, like, 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 we the worst thing since slight since, fuck, since the, the first piece of bread in the damn loaf in the bag. <laughs> they skip over us. And you know? the, the great saying is love is blind. Love, yeah. love is blind. Yeah, these niggas is blind. It's shit. We hey. giving them love. We showing them love by showing you who your fucking enemies are, man. That's that's love. Look, 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 look at these. Nigga, look at these motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, I, I, I love them. I love them. Red ass devils, man. We don't fucking love them. The hell with them devils, man. Hey, man. I want to the scripture said. Hey, man. The scripture said they have a perpetual hatred. That's right. They go always hate us. Always. You niggas can't see that shit. This devil. Hey, hey, this, Hey, the scriptures say if he do it, he do it good, he do it unwillingly. Oh, so even if these crackers do something good for you, they ain't really mean to do it. And, and, and so a nigga will say, oh, white people did good stuff for me, though. What the scripture says, a gift destroyed the heart. Ah, ah. That's why they did it. That's why Esau is so giving. That's why, that's why Esau is the way he is. Oh, he cool. always, I got this tuna casserole, brother, you know, mm -hmm. you want to Because a gift destroys the heart. The whole time he's trying to give you something, yeah. he's trying to get up here in your mind. Because yeah. as soon as he got you up here, he's going to use the... Hey, and I got I, and I, stimmies. Hey, that's stimmies. That's what it was. Uh -huh. That's what he did. That was the gift that destroyed the heart, man. Uh, I'm gonna up. finish this up right quick. Yeah. It says, and on them that hate, let me, let me read it from the top, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Deuteronomy chapter thirty, verse seven. And the Lord Yahweh my side, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies, and on them that hate thee. Which persecuted thee. Mm -hmm. It says, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Yep. And all these nations persecuted us in some way, form, or fashion, man. All these nations hate us, man. Look, look at the fucking Japanese. Them motherfuckers got damn nail salon Atlanta beating Jake woman ass and up, man. Uh. All right? That, that, it, it goes on and on, man. Ishmael got, got Jake tied up to fucking trees, beating, beating their ass with twitches and shit stuff. It goes on and on, man. These these nations had got got hell to pay, man, uh, and they gonna pay it. They gonna fucking pay it. Big death. Big death. They gotta pay. I get the truth something real quick. This is um, Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse eleven it says, "Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished." Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, man. Wow, that was it says, beautiful. What's scripture? Read it again. This is Proverbs thirteen, and verse eleven. Wealth got gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Oh. oh man, hey man, these damn devils got their shit by vanity, man. You know, being crafty as hell, man. And we getting our shit by labor, man. Labor, yeah, this yeah. truth right here, what we doing right now, we getting it by labor, and we're gonna increase, man. And this is how this is how we gonna ultimately be the, the new kings of the earth, man. Huh. The new kings of the earth, the new uh, priests, the new gods on this earth, man, huh. are gonna be us by, by, for, for us, you know. Make hey, look, the Lord said that what. He is not unrighteous to forget our labors and, uh, 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 of work and love, man. Hey, man. You know? Well, come, so you gotta come work out for here, it, man. To come out here so, this work ain't easy, man. You know? Uh, it ain't easy. Brothers of God already got their own ailments and shit they're dealing with. <laughs> you know? God, Damn, it. all of us out here ain't feeling right. All right? Uh, and, and you, 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 we still got to come out here, man. Right. Go ahead. Put the camera on me real quick. <laughs> <laughs> put the camera on that yellow, man. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 we going through it, man. But guess what? We out here. That's right. That's right. You got people out here that ain't even doing the work, man. man that ain't even going through shit. They ain't, ain't doing the work either. What? 
Hey man, hey, man. <laughs> you won't say you gotta work for it, man. Man, that's what we doing right now, man. We coming out here, we working for what we want, man. We and want this kingdom, man. You got people that think well, that's that out they ain't did shit, uh -huh. they ain't did no work, they ain't been to camp once. <laughs> all, they, all they know is they're Israelite. <laughs> and they think the Lord gonna look over these men and choose them. Oh, so, man. <laughs> Goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Priest up. <laughs> goodness gracious. Go ahead. This uh Baruch chapter 4, verse 25. My children suffer patiently. The wrath that has come upon you from the most high, from thy enemy, hath persecuted thee. Mm -hmm. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. And, and that's biblical prophecy. It's biblical prophecy that the elect. They're going to be able to see the downfall of their enemies. Okay, our number one enemy is Esau Edom, the same people that hung us on trees. Yeah, they're going to they gonna have to pay for what they did. Hell yeah. All right? All right. And it's all coming full circle, man. All right? All right. And it says, suffer patiently the wrath that had come upon you. Right. So our, our punishment is coming to an end, and Esau's punishment is about to begin. That's right. That's, That's scary, right. boy. Amen. Hey, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Scripture said, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Damn, boy. <laughs> so, we, hey, man, pretty much the, 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 the worst time for us is over, baby. Mm -hmm. The worst is over. Now it's time it's about to be the for them, yeah, boy. Yeah, they got to go through that shit. The Lord man. is about to work, man. The Lord is about to do some miraculous, marvelous things, man. Yeah, because yeah. the Lord, hey, the Lord, the ultimate Jake. So, as we talking about how there ain't going to be no more talking when time happens, it's going to be the Lord that do that. Because hey. really, it's the Lord talking right now. That's hey. right. So hey. he, the Lord's going to be done talking soon. Hey, you had an Edomite. You had a Jake talking to the Edomite teacher at a school, man. He was telling the Edomite teacher. He was going through the scriptures or whatever. Going back and forth. Beautiful. And the Edomite was like, oh, I can't wait till I see the Lord. And, you know, <laughs> and, <laughs> I just can't wait to see the Lord. I can't wait to see the Lord. I can't, like, I can't wait to see, see, see what he's going to say about this. And the, Lord, and the brother said, to be honest, when you see the Lord, he ain't going to be doing no talking. <laughs> and that's the truth, man. Scripture says, Who is he that cometh from Basra mm -hmm. with dyed garments? garments? That's blood, baby. Like, he come, the Lord's coming to make a speedy riddance of you Edomites, man. If he see any Edomite, he's slaying your ass. Hey, this is, this is, his source will not enter back into the sheath, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, also, yeah. it also tell you that upon an innumerable multitude, all Ezra saw when the Lord came was the uh, uh, scent of smoke. And uh, dust. Damn, so that's the power of the Lord. Imagine an innumerable multitude and a snap of the fingers, everything turned to dust. Because uh, they, they, they're going to try to fight against the Lord when he come back, man. They show you that in the movie Independence Day. Hey, did y'all know that the black, Hispanic, Native Indian men are about to be the new kings of the earth? I do not know that. Now, now you do. Know. Now you do. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. And also, y'all got to pay for what y'all did to us. So y'all going to have to go into slavery too, baby. <laughs> but it's all right. We're going to take care of y'all. Y'all don't look too bad. <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Because exactly. she looked direct. They, they start. They start looked at all the signs, and they see when they see this one. That's when things start to change for their ass. Because they know that they messed up, man. And they gotta pay for what they did, man. Right. Listen, man. We gonna have our fucking fun. You better believe it. All right. You better believe it. What do you What do you, what do you, what do you spy on that either woman? Yeah. yeah that's a part. That's a part. curse, man. Yeah. That, that, that's, a, that's a part of the curses, man. To be an enemy, to be to be to have a woman. We get listen when we when we out here teaching this marvelous word, and we see a, a, a black ass nigga bitch pass by with a with a damn Esau. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that that right there is a curse to us, man. You know that that right there is disrespectful for us to see, man. That shit is vexing. Well, guess what? Same thing for Esau, man. That's why if, 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 back in the day. If you got caught, if, if if you got caught with a white woman, they was gonna put your ass to death, man. Uh, you could why? Because if your enemy is with your woman, that is a curse. And our women have ran to the enemy. <laughs> Fucking skipped and hopped. Sprinted, hop. sprinted and hopped to the enemy. And guess what? They going the, the the enemy's going you gonna ultimately die. The yeah, enemy's yeah, gonna yeah, show you his horns. Life is death. They see how, how they go to the white man because because, because um, the black man is too rough and too this and third. Then they go over there and and they end up getting killed by this damn devil, man. Do you, and then, or, or the devil will, 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 will beat their ass near the death, and they'll say, well, where, 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 where was my man that helped me? Where was the black man that helped me? Bitch, you forsook us for that motherfucker. <laughs> and, and now he choking your ass out and putting you back, about to put you to death. Now you want to run back to us. That shows you these people are fucking through, man. All right, there is no hope for our people, okay? Majority of these niggas, yeah, you, 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 you can go ahead and write them off, man. Yeah, two-thirds, <laughs> two-thirds is done. You can go ahead and write them off, man.
you know. Uh, I, got, I got that, uh, what you uh, asked me for. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 8. Because of uh, unrighteousness, oh, dealings. Hold on, brother. Read it again. It says, yeah. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. So this is how Esau got his kingdom. Injuries, deceit, lies, rape, rob, and murder. Go ahead. It says, it says, the kingdom of, I mean, it's like it, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah, so the kingdom is going to be translated from one person to another. When the Lord come back, he coming to take the kingdom. This current rulership is going to come to an end. And the Lord's going to establish a new rulership. Uh, but this is how Esau rules, man. By riches got by the sleep. He, America was built off of the back of slaves, man. Yeah. All right? And we don't want no 40 acres and a goddamn mule, man. Yeah, we, we want blood. We want blood because true, true, we want you. Yeah, true reparations is having slaves, man. We want you. Man. We want your ass, for real. You better. We want you and your children. Like you had us and our children and our women. We want you, your children, your women. All of that. All of that, man. Mm -hmm. Everything you fucking got, you 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 can you, you can never give us enough. Yep, and then we want your ass That's exterminated. Be double too. Mm -hmm. Verse nine. Why is earth and ashes proud? Right, because you know uh, Esau proud as hell, and he 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 was created. Why is earth and ashes proud? Because really we got we ain't nothing but dust, created from the dust of the earth. You know, so if you if you get puffed up, you you really, there's no you can't get puffed up. The Lord is the only one that can get puffed up. That's it. Go ahead. There, there is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. And that's Esau, man. Esau, and, uh, like, like, it's, like the scriptures say, if uh, you it came by grape gatherers by, by night, would he not leave some grapes? This devil, you go, he, he, he's taking everything, man. Taking the soil, taking everything you can imagine, man. Uh. You look, look at the Middle East now. Esau over there draining the resources over there in the Middle East. Robbing these other countries. Go ahead. They, 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 they done drained it and now they flee. Right, now they flee. They got all the shit they wanted about it and now, and now they gone. And you know these motherfuckers do what these motherfuckers did too? They left all types of equipment and weapons there for those fucking the damn Taliban. And they even left the fucking instruction manuals. <laughs> <laughs> they left them instruction manuals, bruh. <laughs> why did, why, 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 why you think they did that? So they can go back over there. Yeah. Yep. They can go back over because they ain't done over there, man. All the nations going because what, what America literally has done is they they, they created a, an army over there. It's just to get them a reason to go back over there. And now all the other nations are gonna have to get involved now because they see an America ain't doing it. Yep. So they got they gonna get involved and they all gonna be over there fighting and fussing and the Lord gonna come back and sure melt yeah. all the ass. That's right. You see. So that's what, we, that's, what we, that's, what, that's, what, that's what we we preparing for, man. The end of this thing. We we looking for the fucking off switch, man. <laughs> to hell with uh, a, a job. To hell with a, a place. To hell with a woman. To hell with any of this shit. We looking for the off switch. You see, you got people out here still trying to build a career. This this place is through. Yep. People talking about they, oh, I want to start a business. You understand? If you start a business, they say they said they gonna start a business to try to avoid have, have, having to get this thing. They say you gonna lose your job. If you start a business, you still have to buy and sell. Yep. And you won't be able to buy and sell without that damn mark, man. So, you know, it, it, it's only a matter of time before there is no way out. There, there is no way around it, man. There is no way out. Only, only way out was serving Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai and trusting the Lord to deliver you. But if, 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 if you can't start doing that tomorrow, he's going to go, 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 go deal with you. You should have been doing that, man. Like I said, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Go ahead. Right, because if I might add, Brother Say it's lucky. He said, best time to plant a tree is what, 20 years ago? Because now you'll be benefiting off of planting that tree. Mm -hmm. You know, the fruit's gonna be there. The shade. The shade. But now you got people at the last minute. Fuck, I need to plant that tree. I need them apples. I need them. Too it's way too late. Mm -hmm. There's a time and a place. And the time and a place was, you know, a few years ago, man. Really. 20 years ago. You know? And those brothers that's in this, in this truth and this faith that's been in this truth, taking this thing seriously, you you have planted that 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 have per, have, have, have purple tree, man. Yep, next to living water. You know, that that's that tree, that that tree has been planted, and that that tree is is, is going to sustain you in these times we're coming into, man. 
Everybody else, they're going to be, you know, left out, man. Crease up. Go ahead. It says, uh, for such and one set of his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. Yeah. You know, that's what a lot of these celebrities do, man. A lot of these celebrities, they, they, they uh, you know, they're giving in, man. And you got some morals. of them that's, uh, you know, getting fired for, for, for not t taking that damn thing. But you got some of them who just got, they, 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 they got to give in because they, they have already gave up too much, man. Kid Cudi. And a part of that is, is them bowels, man. They done went in there and, 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 and bent over that black couch for, for all that riches and fame. And they ain't trying to let that rich, them riches and fame go, man. So they're going to do whatever this damn devil tell them to do. Yep, take it, and they're going to tell you to take it, man. Yep, and they're going to tell you to promote it. Promote it to the masses. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing. They're going to use the celebrities to promote the uh, MOTV. Well, they're already doing it. Yeah. You got Mariah Carey get, get, getting her shit, and she was screaming. <laughs> screaming like Mariah Carey. That bitch getting the damn shit. And now it's her way to promote it to the rest of you niggas, man. Hey, you know what crazy part is? That shit was fake. That shit was fake, man. She had like she got the shit, like she real deal was all into the shit. You seen it when it, she when they put the damn thing in it, it came out the, the, the syringe thing went inside. Just went inside the damn needle. Like you got these people. Bitch, who you fooling? These people that's in the damn White House and shit, they ain't taking it. Hell no. The motherfuckers over there at the who, they ain't taking it. But they telling you to take it. Bill you got, Gates. You got Bill Gates who say he 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 don't even uh, get his damn kids out there and shit, man. Wow, man. But he won't show kids again. You see. That, that, if you don't peep game and realize what the hell going on, you, can, you, you, you are going to die, man. And that, and that, that bastard invested into that shit. Pretty much, then they did every damn thing with it. He damn near created it, man. Yeah. Right. Talking yeah. about, but he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna be. How you even gonna trust in your own damn work? You see, these devils think they smooth with it, man, and they pretty damn much smooth with it when it comes you, you ignorant well, it's niggas. Not, it's not that they don't trust it. It's that they know exactly what they the fuck's inside of it. They know exactly what the hell the plan is. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got, they got the, they got the right ones for them, yeah, but they got yeah. the best effed up ones for everybody else. Right. The test subject ones. Right. You know what I'm saying? Test dummies, boy. That's what they really much put, put much said. That lady came out and was like, uh, I forgot what she said about pretty much like, it was pretty much made it to a, uh, you, you, everybody's down a test subject. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's That's what it's for, the experiment. Experiment, man. You got experiments at home, and now your ass don't know what the fuck about to happen to you. You got damn shit sticking to your arm and shit. Before you know it, you got motherfuckers under the um, damn blue light. And hey, 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 the arms Nicki got... Minaj, Nicki Minaj said that her, she, had a, she had a cousin in Trinidad that took it right before he was about to get married. And now his testes have swollen up. And, and the woman he was about to get married to left him. Damn, boy. The woman he was about to get married to, gone. Hey, if you took that thing and you ended up dying, having some adverse effect, you deserve that shit. Yep. Right. Because you trusted the enemy. All right? And we're in a time now, if you trust the enemy, that's your ass, man. Hold on, I got a scripture for that. I got a scripture for that. Hold on, bear with me, brother. She was saying how, um, go go to the other one. Cause she was saying how she want, they was, she was supposed to perform at, at the Met Gala or whatever. And she didn't because they, they said that whoever go there gotta get the damn thing. Got that pre -sale. Yeah, I put it all over. Uh, I can grab this right quick. Go. Go Cause the brother was just pretty much talking about, you know, you know, pretty much not trusting these devils, man. You know, so this is Psalm 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So if you know these devils are out here speaking lies, well, first of all, the scripture goes into saying that these devils are strength from the womb speaking lies. So the scripture goes to knowing, hey, man, you're not supposed to trust our enemy in the first place. All right, now I'm saying that they speaking lies. All right, so you, if you put two and two, you got Jake out here still trusting their person. When the scripture goes into telling these niggas lie, who the, the wicked is. The Bible literally says that they be born speaking, speaking lies. lies. Amen. So how stupid can you be to trust these devils? Also, be, also because they don't consider it, man. They right. don't read the scriptures, man. Yeah, they, they don't they, go yeah, through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they don't. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge. So, so they, they don't <laughs> yeah. have the knowledge on it, man. So they, 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 they believe anything. They believe anything that make them feel good, man. All right. <laughs> So once the, once the damn devil say, you know, get yeah, another stimmy if you take this damn thing, they go go. You know what I'm saying? They go hurry up and go. They go race to that damn what you call it, man. You know, a lot of them already took this shit. It's all right, right. Got got it, 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 so ain't galloping. You hear me? Hey, man, that's that uh, Stockholm syndrome, man. When you trusting the, these damn uh, two third Jake still trusting their oppressors, man. 
You know, they still trusting these damn devils after all this shit they didn't done to us and the shit they still doing to us. They still trusting them, man. You know, that's just a lack of knowledge, man. Hey, they don't. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear things that 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 is pretty much uh, 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 against these devils, man. They don't want to hear that. Jake want to still trust in person like the brother saying. They say, uh, 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 uh what is it? Uh, prophesy the seats. All right. That's to a smooth thing. Exactly. They want to hear smooth things. They want to hear the seats, man. All right. They want to hear exactly what they daddy Esau the damn devil is doing, man. That's what they want. So you're going to get what they want and part of it and end their destruction. Because you want to play hand in hand. Like the brother brought up earlier about who's going to pity a child, uh, who's going to uh, pity a child, uh, 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 that's bitten with, with a serpent. This devil's the damn serpent. And we ain't going to pity your ass when you get bit. So you get bit. Oh, I need help. That's your ass. Yeah, that's all you see. But we're going to take that shit. When they, when they realize they got bit and they having these adverse effects, first thing they do is turn the camera on and start whining and crying about how that dude is. God, God. God looking, looking for some pity and shit. God, for man. real, two days ago you was an atheist. Now you crying to God oh, and shit. Exactly. It's at Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject bring, thee. Bring, bring, bring it back again, boy. Uh, brother, go ahead. God, God. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because will, what? Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because of what? Because thou hast rejected knowledge. That's because thou hast rejected knowledge, man. That's, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American have rejected this wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, man. You know how many brothers go out here and, and, and to the highways and the byways and bring this word out, telling you first and foremost, stop eating crab, pork, triple lobster. Hey, uh, um, the public lift that up for me, up. You got Jake out here that still want to do this type of shit. Want to go party, still want to smoke, still want to do everything that's wicked as all hell, man. That's right. You know, but the Lord's out here telling you through his, through his, uh, through his men what you got to repent from because he's about to destroy this place. This knowledge is a key to getting the hell up out of here. That's right. You'll be doing what's right. Read not wrong. Read it again. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the Lord's gonna reject you, man. Alright? For your for your for your disobedience. Oh, Alright? Get it straight to the point. The Lord's gonna, He's gonna cut you off. For your disobedience, man, for you not taking heed to this word. Thank you, brother, man. Uh, hey, these damn uh, two-third jakes, man, they, they have no knowledge, man. You know, so they don't know the, na the name of the Lord or any of that, man. So once that time comes, when they do try to call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord's going to reject them, and they're going to be calling the wrong name anyways, man. Yep, you know what I'm saying? So, they, hey, man, they're damned, man. They are damned. The scripture says all they, they, believe they that damned. believe not the truth shall be damned. 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 Uh, yeah, and it also that's, tells that's you, uh, he that believeth not is damned already. Uh. <laughs> So if you got an unbeliever, you can't make that unbeliever. Right? And if you don't believe in this thing, you obviously don't got the knowledge in this thing, man. So you don't know what to do in that time. Knowledge and stability shall be the uh, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability in that times, man. Yeah, it's right. salvation. All right, the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is His treasure. But that just shows you. Continue. Uh, okay, so long. Thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. And that's why you over here, you you getting jabbed up. Not only you, you getting your children jabbed up. That's right. Now, now you both going to die. That's right. That shows you that the Lord forgot about you and your children. And it's just that simple, man. You know, the Lord says he's going to laugh at your calamity. All right. Proverbs 1 and 20 down. Okay. Hey, man, the Lord ain't playing no games. Because he's going to set a great example of you ignorant niggas, man. You ignorant jakes who want to be hard-headed and stiff-necked. You're gonna set a good example, you niggas, and then you niggas right now will be a great example. And that ain't it. All right, that ain't it. That, ain't, that, that still ain't good enough. That still, that still ain't good enough. You still gotta be set a more of an example because, you, hey, you you are the Lord's choice of people, man. All right, you out here trusting your damn oppressor? You just making us look bad. You niggas making us look bad. Hey, y'all grab y'all's person back ready to close out. God. Uh, uh, right here. This is uh, First Thessalonians chapter five and verse three. It says, "For when they shall say peace and safety, then shall sudden destruction come upon them." All right, man. So when you think about it, man, when when, it, when this damn bee came out, you know what I'm saying? They they were saying, you know, it raises your immune immune system and shit like that. Now they saying that y'all fucking uh, 
the damn super spurters. And you had a, a quote from um, George Washington that said, um, he who chooses safety over freedom does, deserves neither. Uh -huh. And then you had this guy body that came out and said, this isn't about freedom. It's, it's for your safety. Yeah. <laughs> so hey man, wow, man you know that shows you the the the, the spirit of, of, the, of the of the devils that created this country versus the devils that's ruling today man and this oh, guy biden he don't give a fuck about this country man yeah, you know. he, he is a pawn for these ruling oh, elites hell yeah i got trump he actually gave a fuck about trump, this country yeah, trump, man. trump actually you know he actually you know like this place <laughs> biden uh, his ass just a damn uh, a boot licker man said, this place, biden man. is, yeah, is the best look, dude, boot licker you can fucking find man. yeah because he's been in the um yeah the fucking, damn congress or whatever whatever the fuck for politics. years yeah, probably in yeah. politics for years and shit wasn't getting fixed then and that's right getting fixed now that, 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 that nigga got in that seat to, to do whatever the fucking devil's telling him to do. Um, yeah, he said, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it, it, it's, it's prophecy been fulfilled, man. Uh, you know, and even, too, you got this guy, um, the governor of Florida, who he's really just a fucking... Um, what they call what they call him? A damn... Um, Escape rope? Nah. Uh, 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 when, when that, like, pretty much what Esau does is he'll, he'll set up some shit and he'll... he'll, he'll, he'll um, nah, it almost came, it almost came. Nah, he has, he, he, he has, um, he had a person that's come, come, come that's doing the shit, and then he'll oh, set up motherfuckers to, to act like they're against it, but the whole time, they fucking with it. Oh. What's that word called? Uh, uh, um, uh, no, 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 no. damn, it's called like a, uh, provocateur or something like that? Nah, it's not Agent a provocateur. provocateur? Nah, nah, it's, uh, but, but I get what I'm saying, yeah, though. Yeah, uh, right. You know what I'm saying? D that, and the reason, they said, the reason why, why, they, why they have that is so that people can have something to look up to so they don't feel like, because if, if, if everybody just, uh, just agree with it right away, then there's going to be more, um, you know, backlash. Yeah. But if they feel like they, can, they, 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 got, they got a hero that's, fight, that's fighting for them, then they're going to fight and then eventually that motherfucker going to give in and they're going to just give in to it. Yes. You see? So that's, there's that peace and safety, man. Hey, you know, they, 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 they thinking this damn devil trying to help them. And really, you know, his ass went with, with the program, man. His ass just playing his part of it, and then he gonna get in line too. Hey, hey, man, that's so fucking Esau, man. Damn, boy. And he he making what well, he give you some type of hope. Which it ain't no damn hope. Hey, the whole time ain't no. Hope. Hey, he said, I like how you described it too. He said, when he had it where you know, everybody like, oh, we yeah, we gotta fight each other. Yeah, you see that in some movies and shit. And then it'd be like. Then he get conquered, it's like, oh, fuck it, y'all. Everybody just, everybody gonna give in, man. Motherfucker gonna give in, and that's hey, why. Uh, brother, said, well, who's that that said it? Was that you that said that? that how many people have him moved, moved to Florida uh, uh, in June? Eight, shit? eight, eight. Eight point nine. 8.9 million people came to Florida, man. Why? Because they trying to run to this nigga for help, for safety, man. Uh, yeah. That's a lot of people, bro. Yeah, that's a lot of people. That, uh, that's, already, that, that, we already, uh, uh, what do they call it? Florida's already below sea level. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like what? Maybe like 50 miles I saw, miles a, I saw a video last night. We were standing behind. It's this island somewhere that's had, been having volcanoes back to back to back. It's like 2,000 volcanoes in this year. And uh, it's, like, it's, it's, like, it's like like a big piece of land like that. And it's having the volcanoes right there. So they said it's, when they have that ultimate volcano, it's going to fall off into the water and it's going to cause a fucking tsunami. <laughs> Is that 100 like feet tall. Like yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's going to cause a damn tsunami 100 to 200 feet tall. Shit. And that's going to come and hit the whole east coast of America, man. Sheesh. Great death and destruction yeah. is coming. Florida. Yeah, because Florida is going to be white. Yeah, Florida will be on the water. Yeah. Florida going to be king. Hey, if you ain't right with the Lord, man, you going to be right down there with Florida, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> right God. So, Florida, man, these motherfuckers coming to Florida for peace and safety, man. Hey, you know, safety coming, man. And still gotta get hit by new. If the Lord ain't with you, ain't no peace safety coming, man. And still gotta get hit by new. What? Trying to run from that sticky wick, yeah, that lock. Yeah. Finish it up, Let's go. Let's go to get a It says, man. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. All right, man. Hey, now you got damn Jake talking about, or people talking about they regret taking that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Well. It says, as travail upon a woman with a child, they, and they shall not escape. All right, man. So how a woman is when she having a child, man, is gonna be how most of these damn. 
everybody, the people are going to be out here, man, that doesn't have the Lord, you know, to comfort them or have this truth, man. That's how they're going to be out here, man, because that, that time is running short, man. There's little time left, man. And yeah, when, when a woman's in travail, she's not away. having a good time. No. Nope. Not once. At all. Mm -mm. All right. Hey, man, the scripture says uh, the courageous man shall be running uh, naked in that day. All right, so your biggest courageous man, you know, that you thought was the shit to talk. That nigga man. thought he was a shit. You know, that nigga thought he was a shit. Oh, imagine the rock. You know, and really, the rock is a bitch. But imagine a little nigga that look like the rock. That's been <laughs> in the big show. That's been <laughs> in the military and shit. <laughs> nigga, a fucking hard body, hardcore type shit. Hey, man. They're going to be screaming like a little bitch in that day, man. The Lord, the Lord going to humiliate, humiliate that dude to where hey. he's going to be a, a, a midget FEMA troop chasing his ass. And he's just running from hey, the back, man. There's a movie called um, This Is The End. And it has all these celebrities in it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they, came, they, they, they was in the house or whatever. They was in the house, and it was like the end times or whatever. The end times was outside of them. They was in the house. And they kicked this guy out because he was being like, you know, a, a fucking demon or whatever. They kicked his ass out. Eventually, they had to leave the house. They come back. They run back into this guy. They found his ass. He, he get off a damn RV with a bunch of damn uh, mad Mexican motherfuckers. And then he got the RV. He got a motherfucker on a damn leash. <laughs> and a Speedo on the leash with a mask on. He took the mask off. It was fucking Channing Tatum, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's about to be out here. You about to have packs of motherfuckers eating people, and they're going to take your, your favorite celebrity and make that motherfucker into a, 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 a damn pet, man. Put his ass on a leash. <laughs> the, biggest, the, the biggest, baddest nigga going to be on a leash, man. Fucking Channing Tatum was like this. <laughs> 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 That nigga was on a leash, bro. Nah, bro. That's the times yeah, we're coming bro. into, man. You yeah. see some shit. That's right. <laughs> and that goes for all these, um, you know, all these mighty men out here, man. These military men, even these even like the wars, right, 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 motherfucking out, man. All that mighty, mighty talk. That's that's that that, that, that the Lord gonna take that spirit from these people, man. And the only people that are gonna, that's gonna really have that strong spirit is the elect man. Nah, that's right. And everybody else gonna be out here crying like bitches, man. Like, notice how he said elect men because you're going to have women that's going to be saved and they still going to be you know tripping you know because oh the, script, the scriptures say uh, pretty much how he saw every man travail as what, what child or like how, why do I see men with uh, their hands upon their loins screaming like women mm -hmm. you know these are all accounts that happen in the, in the Bible that's about to take place right now man or how they been turned, uh, their face turning pale. Face turning pale on this, yeah. yeah. What's up? Go ahead, Ark. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12. And uh, verse 22, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth? Mm. Verse 23, Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, and they affect every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. And there shall be no more any vain vision, or flattery, or divination in the house of Israel. The Lord is about to put an end to all the bullshit, man. Everybody and their fucking mama gonna know what the truth is, and yeah. times are coming into. Yeah. Right. Everybody and their mama, because all that other bullshit you niggas believing in, it's gonna come to naught. Right. It's gonna come to naught. Go ahead, brother. Verse 25. For I am the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I will speak in the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. It shall be no more prolonged. Mm -hmm. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word. And Israel is a very rebellious house, man. Mm -hmm. These niggas are rebellious, man. They don't know how to stay up to, 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 to get in order. They, they, a lot of these niggas can never come in the truth because they don't, they don't want to deal with order, man. That means you're rebellious. And the Lord said that he's going to kill all the rebels of his people. So if you want to do what you want to do and do your own fucking thing, and, and, and it's all about what the fuck, how the fuck you feeling at that moment, go ahead. But you will fucking die. That's right. That's the truth. And hey, we ain't not here to sit here and lie to you and tell you it's going to be okay. Like, like your pastor, you're about to fucking die. That, yeah. just, just like that. Go ahead. Oh, rebellious house, will I say the word and will reform it, Saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai power. That's it. Come on, the Lord ain't gonna belong. He ain't gonna belong to prophecies no more, man. The brothers coming out talking about nuclear fire coming down upon Earth. 
it's not gonna be prolonged, it's gonna be in your days. All right, all these dreams people have it, of the mark of the beast system, the, the, the chip, okay? All these things that this devil's about to do to us, it's about to happen in these days and in this lifetime, man. That's right. Panda camera, panda camera, yeah, look at these fucking shoes. Look at these beasts. Look at these fucking shoes. What the fuck? Yeah, beasts. What the fuck? That's why they're born in slavery, man. Yeah. Whoa! Give them down for slavery. Give them down for slavery. Give them down for slavery. Yeah. You stop, bitch. Shut your ass up. Damn devil. See how they. they, 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 they uh, whoa! They, we, we, we are a fucking joke to them. Mm -hmm. We are a joke to them. We ain't out here playing, man. We ain't having no fucking to, 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 to entertain some fucking animals. That's right. When the time come, we gonna, I'm gonna turn that fat bitch inside out, man. <laughs> Whoa! Right Whoa! Now. Fucking devil! Fuck y'all, man. Never shit, man. That shit pisses you off. Hell yeah, man. We out here, we out, brothers out here catching hell. He don't want. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? If that if today was a day, them devils, oh. they, they all would have got slaughtered. Damn, That's man. That's coming into That's man. That's crazy. Man. Imagine knowing, man. Imagine knowing that day, man. You know, he out there in the hot sun, building up that um, the ark, man. And you got fucking Jake, man. You got Jake coming around just mocking him, They fucking know man. what we about. They, they done seen us before, man. And they done seen brothers like us before, and they're they making a mockery of us. They think it's a joke. Well, guess what? The joke's gonna be on you fucking devils, man. That's right! Stop! Stop! Bitch, y'all started it. She told them to stop when they was fucking down the road. Damn devil. And that's why, hey, man, these Edomites, man, they, 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 are, they fucking are entitled. You see, everything is just gotta go their fucking way. They, 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 they start this shit, and when they don't like the outcome of it, all of a sudden it's stop, stop. The voice is annoying as shit. Uh, priest, go ahead, bro. Who got last precepts? Uh, precepts. Uh, precepts. This is Book of Jeremiah, chapter seventeen, verse five. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh, uh, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. All right, if you if you trust in Esau, man, like he's the creator of all things, because that's how he wants you to that's how he wants you to think of him, man. When he's not the creator of all things, man. All right, it says, "Cursed be the man that trusteth in man." You're gonna be cursed, man. All right, you gonna you, hey, the trust in Egypt shall be a shame, man. The trust in Pharaoh gonna be a shame. When you trust in this devil and you go and you get put to shit, okay, you get put to shame. You're gonna be looking stupid, man. We're gonna be laughing at you, man. And make it flesh his arm. And whose heart departed from the Lord. And the reason you trust in man, the reason you trust in, in Esau, man, is because your heart has departed from the Lord, man. Yeah, that's right. Uh, on that. If, I'm, if I may add, uh, this is the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Put away the old man. Over. I got a precept. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 15. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, and the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Mm. Now, this devil made this damn thing from, uh, for Jake, man, but he got his own people having adverse effects from this thing, man. Most, the majority of videos I've seen is his own people. <laughs> Edomites having adverse effects from taking the, that thing, man. Yeah. All right, it says, and the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Now, he's going to come down upon his own people. He's trying to depopulize uh, Jake. But he really doing his own people in too, man. Uh -huh. That was on that. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is talking about the Edomites. So we are prophesied against these Edomites, man. Letting them know we, when they pass by here, we ain't supposed to be like, hi, how you guys doing? Have a great day. We put letting them know they going in fucking slavery. That's right. You going, you going in fucking chains, devil. That's right. You said he was having a good ass, ass fucking time. That. You said he was having a good ass fucking time. Until we told him that, they weren't having a good time anymore. <laughs> they went, they walked walk down that street looking crazy in the fucking face. Because they, they, they just got told their judgment. Yeah. We set our faces against them, man. We ain't, 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 ain't no love and peace with these fucking devils. To the fucking hell with these devils, man. <laughs> and, right. and, and, and even if we did try to come in that spirit, you see how they gonna fucking treat us, man. Wow. Fuckers disrespecting us and, 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 and making a mockery of us and shit, man. Hey, that, that, that's a part of being out here prophesying, man. Oh. You know? They, 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 look, they look at what, what, what we're doing and, they, and the scriptures talk about the foolishness of teaching. Because to be out here in the open like this, teaching this word, it looks foolish to people, man. Go oh. ahead. Let me bring it back from the uh, beginning of verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Mm -hmm. 
and say unto it, Thus say the Lord, thy power, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. The Lord is against Esau, man. And all and, 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 and all and everything that they, 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 they got, everything that they, they about, the Lord is against that, man. Scary, wow. Everything. The Lord hates you people. You're going to die. That's right. But before you die forever, you're going to be enslaved. Okay, for a thousand years, man. A thousand right. years. Paying for all your fucking bullshit, man. Right. Shit like that. <laughs> that was that, that that right there was a fucking uh, 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 damn vexation, man. Okay? You did you that was gotta pay. And you gon' fucking pay. So, you know, when we see you, you know, if you are having a good time and shit, we ain't mad at you. Enjoy yourself. You know, just don't fuck them up and playing with us. It's like it's like you got a fucking pit bull behind the fence, and this way that pit bull on that barking every time every day wanna eat your ass, and you sitting there playing in, in front of that fence, mocking the pit bull. One day he gonna jump that fucking fence, man. Yes, believe it. One day he gonna jump that fucking fence. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. And I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. The Lord is about to completely, utterly destroy you devils, man. Do away with you. Through. Finish. Go ahead. I will lay thy seed. And you know what? They don't believe this, man. They don't believe this. They, 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 and you know why? Cause, 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 because we saying it, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they don't believe it, because we saying it. But they going to fucking feel it, man. They going to mm -hmm. see it. They going to feel it. They going to taste it. Everything. Hey, yo, and they don't even know it's coming through the spirit power. Y'all bunch them outside. So, that's their ass. He just marked himself for even time, even double times of the goddamn uh, 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 judgment, man. Then, 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 then you see, brothers you see, know his face, man. Then you, yeah. see, you see how I, I get, I, I, I snapped on their ass. And it was like, what the fuck? Like, 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 like surprise. Like, like you, you blow. Like, right. <laughs> he can't, he saw the fucking devil. You, you sit here and provoke somebody. And when they snap on your ass, you 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 you, you want to play the victim. victim. Right. Oh, whoa! Hey, 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 hey! hey. 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 <laughs> that one was like, it looked like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Saw the lion come out. He saw the lion come out and was like, hey, hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Y'all started that shit, man. Man, that devil could have just walked by and been like, he could have got any old other Edomite judgment that time, man. But now that brother see his face and he just mocked the uh, prophets, man, brother's gonna be looking for that man, man. That's man, his ass believe. That's the spirit of Esau, man. Spirit of Esau, man. They ain't worried. Listen, they ain't worried about nothing, man. The shit that we go through, we have to deal with, the, 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 the curses we under, they ain't, they ain't worried about that shit, man. They about to go hop in a nice ass car. You listen that you 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 don't know the half of shit wow, brothers go man. through. You don't know the fucking half. And we still come out here and do this work. Oh, we come man. out here and get mocked by some fucking basement. <laughs> some <laughs> basement that's fucking already done as it is. Hey, why why you think the elect are gonna get such a great prize though? Hey man. That's why the elect are gonna get eternal life, everything the Lord promised them. Because the Lord knows that what we go through, the Lord knows he sees us uh, us suffering, he knows it ain't easy. Especially with us knowing that these are base men. We know that we are better than them and we're underneath them right now and have to deal with shit hey, like that. No, you know what you know what it reminds me of, man? It reminds me of uh, you know, how you go out, you go out, like you got kids and shit, they go out and they go fuck with a dog and the dog is on the leash right now. You know, they just fuck with them, just mocking them, mocking that dog. But once that dog get off that leash, man, that dog's gonna fuck them kids up. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna, that's you, gonna be you, like you gonna bite one of them. No, that's, that's how it's gonna be from Eden bites, man. Right now we in, we in some we in, we in chains right now, man. You know, but when the Lord let those chains loose, man, we gonna fuck these devils up, man. Hey, and he just marked himself so we, hey, we remember his face, man. We remember that whole group's face, and we gonna whoop their ass, man. Hey, hey, hey. Some, 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 right. hey, hey. Lord willing, but man. But just a minute ago, she was doing the shit with him. Lord yeah, woo, <laughs> Started snapping, bitch, man. Stop, 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 stop. Bitch, you stop, shut the fuck up. We beat your ass out here, too. Come on. Fuck. And that's what's gonna happen, man. Jake getting, Jake getting riled up, man. That's right. Jake getting riled up and tired of these fucking devils, man. They ain't dealing with, they ain't going through shit. They ain't catching no kind type of hell. But they out here having a good time and shit and want to play in your face and shit. Bitch, don't play in my face. I'll let you walk by here all fucking day long. But at the moment you fuck them up here playing with us, we're gonna, we gonna be gonna play back with your ass, man. Go ahead. I will lay thy city in They place. was having fun. They was having a good time enjoying themselves. Until we got on their ass, now they went down that road quiet. They, they went down that fucking, they down there wa wa walking in silence right now, man. <laughs> on eggshells. As you should be, devil. Go ahead. 
Ezekiel 35 and verse 4. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Yahweh by Shimei, I was shy. Right, because see, the Lord is putting his spirit, the spirit on his men. So we ain't tolerating no fucking bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. From nobody. Not from Esau. Not from you fucking nigga woman. Not from you fucking niggas. None of it. Either I'm you get with the program man. or you get the fuck lost. Bring it up. It's simple as that. It's simple as that. We at the end of this thing, man. Our, 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 our goal is to get to the kingdom of heaven. That's our destination. If you ain't trying to get to the same destination, fuck you. Right. Okay? Plain and simple. That simple. Yeah. Fuck you. If a nigga can't get it, we're moving on. Ain't we ain't finna chase you down and beg you to come get this thing. If you can't get it, it ain't for you. That's that. Fuck a Edomite. Fuck a two-third nigga. Fuck all this shit, man. Fuck America. We through with this place, man. Right now, we had we had a point where it's a countdown to the Lord come. Okay? It's a countdown to the Lord come, man. To hell with everything else, man. We, 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 don't, we, we don't want no love. We don't want no friendships. We don't want no fucking peace. <laughs> We want death and destruction to come upon this place so we can get delivered the hell up out of here, man. That's right. That's all, that's, all we, that's all we want. Go ahead. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred mm -hmm. and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Esau. What? Perpetual hatred means never ending, man. They, they, they have never stopped hating us. It's never stopped. That's why when they came out with this whole V, the first thing that came out of their fucking mouth was blacks and Hispanics, man. Why? Because they still hate us, man. You niggas think they really stay old, oh, that was the old days, they don't like that anymore. Okay, well you gonna see, bitch, go watch that Purge movie. Okay, <laughs> they showing you what they about. All right? They showing you what they about over and over and over again. Turn on the news. For real, watch uh, Songbird. For real. Go ahead. I'm gonna start from the top of verse five. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel, by the force of the sword in the time of their uh, calamity. That's a lot. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord thy power, I will prepare thee unto blood, mm -hmm. and blood shall pursue thee. Mm -hmm. Since thou hast, hast not hated blood, even thou, that's a lot. Even blood shall per pursue thee. That's right, because Esau loved blood, man. We came on this earth, all he did was bring death and destruction, man. All he did was bring blood and uh, hell on this earth, man. Oh, yeah. Okay? He loved blood, man. This guy, uh, Chris Ball Cologne, so he couldn't put his sword down for an hour. He couldn't. Why? Because he was too busy slaying those Native Americans, man. This, uh -huh. this man loves blood. He wants to kill everybody and everything. That's why he goes out in the middle of fucking Africa and killing giraffes and zebras and shit, man. Peaceful animals. Yeah, that ain't hurting nobody. Ah. He going to kill and shit that ain't hurting, that ain't, that ain't, ain't even hurting him, man. Just for a fucking look, man. He's the pollution yep. of this earth, man. Yep. This All man right. is a devil, man. You, we, we really Can't dealing with the fucking man. devil. And if you, if you don't realize it sooner than later, yo ass gonna be get get kind of de devoured by him. Ah, He's going to devour you, man. Yep. Beast. You saw those beasts? Those are fucking cavemen right there in clothes, man. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Looking retarded as fuck. That's why you you know, boy, when, when that time coming, Lil Ray's us up, man, it's gonna be nothing to beat the shit out of an Edomite, okay? That's right. We're gonna be beating out, we're gonna have our kids beating the grown Edomites, man. Oh, Flushing <laughs> they shit. Wait, man. Flushing they shit, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's, hey, and the king, we're gonna, have, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have a great time fucking with you white people, man. How y'all kingdom, y'all fuck with us, we're gonna fuck with y'all, man. And it's gonna be in the worst way. I'm talking about, I'm talking about kicking hands in, you know, curve stumping. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like look they're like, it looks like it crazy. But don't the same bitches line said that niggas was raping them. That's right. <laughs> uh, Those were the same ones back in the day. Don't, don't come down here because you ain't gonna touch me. You ain't ready for it. They were the yeah. same ones when, when we was in slavery. They were gonna sleep with a black man and say he raped me and then get, get the man killed. I saw a video today. It was a, it was a woman in the hospital. She was on her deathbed. An old, an old oh, white yeah. woman. Yeah, yeah. She said how uh, she confessed and said how when she was younger. She said that a, a, a black boy touched her behind the store so that, so that, uh, and got the whole family put to death, all because she didn't like the, because the, the, the little boy's sisters had better dresses than she did. Ah. She got a whole family put to death. They you white people down. are the fucking yeah. devil. We don't care for none of y'all, man. Y'all ain't care for us. Was this love for us? Was that love? So why the hell should we care about them? Right. 
And the lady who got him took down, she said she got away scot free, man. The niggas who, 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 who killed Emmett Till got away scot free. They gotta pay for that, man. That's right! Bitch wanna come out? Don't even come down here because you ain't ready for it, bitch. That's why she kept walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. This ain't for you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's your experience. Esau, you, they, it's, like, it's like you can't say shit to them. Yeah. And then that's how it was for a long time. We couldn't say shit to them. You, oh, you, you, couldn't, yeah. you, you couldn't even look at them or yours gonna get put to death. They're gonna be at your door. And really, she wanted to kill us. She came over and she had a phone <laughs> in the hand. I'm sure she called the cops. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Yeah. And really, that shows you that when any of my calls the cops on a Jake, they want, that they want that cop to kill your ass. They yep. see what's going on. They ain't stupid. They saw what happened with George Floyd and all these other Emmett Till, whatever, everybody. So when they call the cops on you, they really want you to die. And that's what the cops yep. are really was created for in the first place. The cops are slave catchers. Oh, yeah. That's where cops come from. Police come from slave catchers. So when, when, when the cops was getting called back in the day, it was to chase down a nigga. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's where you get cops from. So when you hear email, I'm calling the cops. Fuck you and the police, bitch. Okay, cause that's, that's what she's saying. She's trying to get you put to death. Yeah. They they won't pass here. We saying this and shit. They trying looking crazy. Like like, like they ain't never heard this shit before. Bitch, I was doing it to us, man. That's right. They, they, they call this hate speech now because we telling you what you did to us, which was fucking hate. Go ahead, brother. Who's reading? That's, uh, this book Ezekiel chapter thirty five and verse seven. Thus will I make my sin most desolate. And cut off from it him that passes out and him that returneth. Mm -hmm. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. With his slain men. And we say I will fill his mountains. Mountains means governments. All these governments on this earth are going to be destroyed, man. And see what's going to happen is when the Lord comes here to America, America is going to be obliterated, decimated. The elect are going to get beaten up into the chariots. And then that's when the Lord is going to have the elect men Go around the rest of this world, Europe, France, Spain, Italy, wherever the fuck. China, and we're gonna put this place in subjection, man. That's right. And you know that and you know what? They 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 are gonna try to fight fight against us. They, we're gonna have spiritual power and they're gonna try to fight against us. And that's gonna make it fun. Imagine you in Paris slaying Edomites, man. <laughs> okay. In Paris with spiritual with powers, man. Paris, Paris, we ain't never been to Paris. Hey, man. I ain't never been to Paris. Uh, imagine that, man. The Lord, gonna, the Lord gonna have us. Hey, we 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 ain't we, we, we ain't been able to do shit on this side. We've been in hell, in hell stuck here. Well, the Lord about to free us, man. He about to free us, and when He free us, we gonna have a fucking field day with you Edomites, man. You know how you was in school and it was a field day. They had they had the field days. They had everybody just doing something different outside the plan and shit. That's gonna be Jake in these different countries, man. <laughs> Killing motherfuckers in different ways. We, 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 gonna, we gonna be meditating on terror about how to destroy you fucking devils, man. God. And then it's gonna come to a point where enough of their ass gonna die, where they're gonna get on their knees and bow down and say, okay, we gonna serve y'all, man. God. We gonna serve. We'll, 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 what y'all need? And they're gonna get God. right to building up our kingdom of heaven, man. Mm -hmm. Start from the top. Yourself. Ezekiel 35, verse 8. And I will fill his mouth with his slain men mm -hmm. in thy hills and in thy valleys. So that so so that means that's talking about the the, 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 the the higher governments like America, Russia, China. Then you got uh, these little governments, man. Okay, go ahead. And and in all thy rivers mm -hmm. shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Mm -hmm. I will make thee perpetual desolation, and thy cities shall not.